Full of aquatic, we reefing. Fishing my crib, I got fresh, I got salt water. Salt on the rocks, I got all colors. I made a orange way out of all rubbers. Protein skim will make all bubbles. Got fish for sale, I'm finna place the order. If it's rare enough, I cross the border. Perimeter checks, it's levels to this. Macro lens, you see in the pattern. Snail shells, museum of the Vatican. I'm coaching this game, Gary Patterson. Going to this court, verified, I let you in. I like my lives like ESPN. Just lost some Burnett, shit called STN. It's part of the game when you destined to win. You see me on live, I got questions. Check in. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, people? <laughs> Come on here one time. Talk to my people. What's up, D1? Jeff Kane, Craig in the building. Y'all let me know what that audio visual like, man. Hey, 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 hey. Man, I went to the to the local uh fish study and uh it was definitely a disappointment, man. Went down there to that fish store, dog. It was a disappointment. I ain't been to um to that location in a while. They had built it. I went there like the first day or something. I ain't go back. You know, I said I'm gonna let them, you know, get their water quality and everything right up the bar. Skitty. Man, I went in there, y'all. It was a disappointment. I had to cut the camera off, man. I had to cut the camera off, bro. <laughs> I guess though, you know they they probably going through. Uh, he said, "Good evening." I'm about to start some late night water changes. Stephen P. Yeah, man, go and do your thing. I'm going to be on here, you know, chopping it up for a little while, man. Just wanted to come on here and talk to my people. But, yeah, dog, I can't believe you, though, man, I, how that fish store was looking. And it was a uh, a pet coat, man. Like I say, newly built location. I'm thinking, like, hey, yo, animal, what's up, man? I'm thinking, you know, like, I'm finna walk into some, you know, nice looking tanks and everything, doc. Man, I went in there. And first, you know, I went straight to the saltwater side. So I got to looking at the saltwater fish. They was they was looking all right. I really didn't notice, you know, any dead fish or sick fish or anything. So then I started walking down to the freshwater side, you know. I started noticing little, little fish nibbling on other fish. And I was like, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe it's just this one. Nah, it was several of them, man. It, I like I said, I had to cut the camera off, bro. I got to just, I looked up and looked on down to the the rest of the fresh water, and it only got worse. Like the tanks was just super cloudy, like an algae bloom or something. I never really, I never really experienced nothing like that. Like where my tank was super cloudy. You know, unless I disturb the sand or something, but bro, it, it was devastating. And um, fish was dead, you know, everywhere. It was fish eating fish. It was some type of sickly eating a uh, Corydora. Uh, he said, dang, what store was this? It was a Petco down here, bro. They, it was, it's only being built probably like six months, man, seven months. And I was expecting to go in there and see, you know, some decent looking tanks, but it was, it was really crazy, bro. Was all the tanks like, man, just about like at first, you know, I really wasn't seeing it. But then as like I said, I got to looking and it was fish eating fish and, you know, 
dead fish that was just sitting in there, man. I don't know. It was it was really a disappointment to to the hobby and especially trying to record something like that, bro. I was I was crazy. I was devastated, but um, yeah, and it was it was to the point where it was fish like that would if it was going to eat that corridor, then it would have died because you know that's like a catfish. It got those barbs, so even if it would have got him down, he would have died eventually. He said, "Lack of knowledge, care, employees definitely unfortunate." Yeah, man, because I was definitely you know looking to buy. I was definitely looking to buy some um, fish, bro, and snails, and you know, just different things. And I, and y'all know, I've been looking for some Kenya cichlids, and I, I finally found some. It was three of them in there, but I didn't really want to buy them, bro, because you know, like uh, first, ca uh, first class said, bro, you're gonna need the quarantine from there. But it was deeper than that. You know how you want to get the fish. You know it's a chance they may be sick and you like yeah i can't quarantine them you know shake them back but then i was afraid to even introduce something like that to my system i'm not even gonna lie bro so it sounds like the whole system sick. yeah bro i even seen a blue lobster like you know how they have those small blue lobster or maybe a crawfish or whatever but it looked like he had something on him he was trying to he had his legs and he was trying to scratch whatever was on them off of them and you could tell it was something irritating them and that was that was, that was real crazy bro like you know how you want to save the fish but like i say then you don't want to get your fish sick so i just i just end up not even buying anything bro and then that wasn't even a kicker well it was the kicker but the even bigger part of the um problem the Kenya cichlids that I asked him about, he was like, well, they're going to fall under the category of a, of a sorted peacock. And I'm like, what? Like, what sense does that make? You could tell it was new because the fish was maybe only about an inch long. It was very small. So I'm like, you're going to charge me $12.99 for this, this small fish? And let me tell you his explanation. Well, yeah, how we do it, uh, no matter what size the fish is, we still charge the same price. So he, he pointed to a blood parrot. I was like, so if that blood parrot two and a half inches, you're going to charge, you know, $14 for a five inch blood parrot? He was like, yes. I'm like, what? <laughs> what sense does that make, man? Like, I see why those guys lose money and I, you know, you win, they win some money too, because if they got people crazy enough to pay those prices for a small fish is the same fish they would a, a big fish, then you getting over on people, bro. Then he was like, yeah, we just haven't made the tag yet. Well, my God, don't you think you need to make a, a Kenya cichlid tag or a peacock tag or a dovi tag and like come on bro there's no way you could be getting over on people like this no way yeah bro they they do like lack the knowledge they do jeff yeah the whole system was sick bro and you could tell that it haven't made its way down to the salt water yet like it was it was just super bad on the freshwater end and then you could tell like it was slowly making its way down to the salt water you say if all the tanks were cloudy nine times out of ten the system sick it, and they were and they was treating and they was treating it for a reason Good night, good night. All right, my daughter want to tell me good night. But yeah, man, he say if all the tanks were cloudy nine times out of ten, the system sick and they were treating it. The reason they were cloudy, nah, my guy. Mm -mm. You could have seen this animal. You would have knew it was past the treating stage, bro. The fish was still swimming in there, but it was so cloudy, dog. Like I don't think I ever seen a tank 
that cloudy, man. And it still had fish swimming in it. Like, that was crazy. So if I read that, Stephen said, what's up, Craig? He said, unless you're lucky enough to have a really good local fish store, the best off ordering, your best off ordering online or finding a club, etc. I don't even like supporting Petco when I can. Man, I didn't want to buy nothing else out of there, dog. No, that was that was sickening. Man, what kind of store? What stores y'all recommend though for like some good uh, cleanup crews? I know no too many of y'all have salt water, but what's some online stores, bro? Y'all know they have like some, some good trustworthy service where you ain't gotta risk your whole inventory at your house because you want something new, like. That was crazy, bro. I can't believe I even really experienced that. Then, let alone, was trying to record it. Like, <laughs> that was crazy. Nice. None, bro. Here, they, they charge by the size. That's what I'm saying, bro. I thought they usually charge by the size. If it's a smaller fish, then, you know, they're going to charge. They charge by the inch, basically, bro. He was saying that they were going to charge me. Twelve ninety nine assorted peacock price for a baby for a baby Kenya cichlid. So I believe that the pricing is more a corporate thing. Yeah, dog, but I can't I can't charge somebody. Say, well, uh, oh yeah, well we have all these these goldfishes in here. They are. Day five ninety nine. Oh, but you you want you want this um you want this minnow? Oh, that minnow is gonna be five ninety nine. Also, we're gonna it falls under the category of a of a goldfish because we have it in there with the goldfishes. Like, bro, that, what kind of logic is that, dog? This is <laughs> it. Don't even sound cool. <laughs> Charge me for. For what it is, not for what you think it falls under. He said, I just ordered. Skeddy said, I just ordered. So you think that, bro, they don't train people. He in there by himself. He putting water bowls in, in, the, in the, I mean, uh, he filling up the water bowls for the snakes. He filling up, um, you know, the hamsters. He just doing everything. And then I asked him, I said, hey, man, my man, Who's over here on the fish? He was like, oh, that'll be me. Dang, so you got all the reptiles and you got the, the fish. They wondering why the service is, you know, so apart, man. When it's like that, they're not supposed to sell. Yeah, bro, they really should have closed down that whole section because I seen a, a bicolor angel fish, $79.99, uh, or it was $69.99, $70 fish, dead. It was just just laying there dead, bro. Colorless. It's supposed to be bi-colored. <laughs> uh, sh Stephen P, who's going to train at a six-month-old store? I vote Gina to you. <laughs> uh, oh, they hold shit crap. Yeah, bro. It look like it look like they like you say they whole system was about to crash bro because when i first went in there you know they kind of had some selections but he was saying since it was so new that you know they was just trying to work everything out bro but that was at least six or seven months ago man hey what's how i'm aquarium talk tv appreciate you for coming through it's imperial tropics bro oh yeah they did have a nice selection man I'm gonna have to see if they got any saltwater, um, saltwater cleanup crew. So yeah, they should deploy Gina nationwide. Yeah, I think they'd be half of the problem too, bro. That they really don't have, um, they really don't have like you know the right staffing. But you would think in in order from um, my inventory dropping, I'm gonna get it uh aqu aquatic specialist in here i'm gonna make sure that i at least pay th that much amount of money to, to keep somebody in here where my fish system is decent he say found through fish found ah yeah for sure man 
You know, we rocking with the fish fam, bro. They be showing major support, dog. But, um, said, Jeff said, what's up? Skeddy said, what's up? Aquatic art. Redfish blue. Man, let me take a picture of that, dog. Because I'm telling you, man. I'm definitely looking for some some decent spots. And to be honest, to be honest, bro, like I never really saw them like that. They they usually pretty good. That's why I thought I was gonna walk into something a little spectacular, you know. Don't get me wrong, they had a nice selection of fish. Now I'm I'm not knocking that at all. It was just the quality of the fish and, and how they was kept. It kind of threw me off. Hey, what's up, Mark? Carl, what type of fish are you looking for? I'm not really looking for a fish, you know, at the moment, bro. It's, um, if anything, I'm looking for, you know, a couple pairs of Kenya cichlids so I can get them mugs breeding again. But, other than that, bro, I'm not really looking for no no fish. I'm looking for a cleanup crew for the salt water. You know, looking for something to like, you know, eat the algae in the salt water. I know you you said something about a sea slug or something y'all was talking about in the somebody live yesterday. But yeah, that's called a, a sea slug or a sea hare. They do pretty good with eating hair algae. I was looking at one of those. It's just once they don't have any more hair algae, they kind of die. Good night, folks. Take care. I right, get it. What's how I'm Cali? Appreciate you for coming through, man. He said driving home from work for sure, man. Drive safe, dog. Get down here to the to the biz item, man. He said with it being new and still cloudy, I wonder if it's even cycled. I don't. I don't know how Petco does their filtering. Man, from it looked like they had a cabinet, not looked like they had a cabinet off. So it looked like they have a sump underneath the bottom. I'm pretty sure, you know, um, I'm not for sure if each section runs on its own sump or, you know, how many tanks they have on a sump. But when they moved, that was one of their problems though. They kept having uh, some type of bacteria infection and they had vermitted snails real bad. And and he was saying it was because of the system kept getting clogged and it was an old system and all of that. So it, it got them looking bad, though. And I'm pretty sure they losing out on the, uh, they losing out on a lot of money on those fish, bro, because you get new shipment in, but they're dying. They're getting sick. They. Like animals said, they shouldn't even be selling those, bro. They really should have a train, you know, the training program at a minute. Bro, that's what I'm saying, Jeff. How are they able to have these people keep, have a job as a, a fish keeper when you know the minimum? Like, bro, you, you said West Spot Tropics. Let me write that down, man. I'm, I'm looking for a good, fish store bro online even sh let's see I agree Jeff and I think it's in their long term yeah bro cause it be devastating to them companies when they have aquatic specialists of, of 10 12 years and then they lose them bro that that be detrimental to the store then you have a, a hobbyist like me come in, you know, I'm looking for quality fish and, and it, it's not any. So as a customer, that turns me away. Like you don't you didn't have what I came here to, looking for. So I'm going to take my business elsewhere. And now look at me. I'm on speaking with you guys about ordering online instead of supporting the local fish store. But I can't support something that's going to. Um be a risk to to my system like bro i didn't even want to introduce none of those fish nails anything out of their system i didn't want to introduce that into my system hey what's how i'm on the oscars what's how i'm linda I see you what's how i'm j-rock 
say in- interest for a few reasons. He said Story Michigan said they come out ahead by spending the money to quarantine as they have so lo- so as they have such low losses and it keeps customers in the hobby. Man, ain't no way, dog. They need a quarantine system because they get new shipments in Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. So if you getting shipments in on two occasions, but then you're not doing any quarantine and then you really not giving your fish any time to to get healthy or, you know, recover from being stressed. You just study dumping new fish in. Then you have the wrong type of fish in the tank with the wrong type of fish. Like, come on, bro. It was a fish and I have the video. I took a video of it. I'm going to have to post that mug. It was a some type of jewel cichlid or something. Um, Jack Dan. It was something like that, but it was eating a corridor and he was eating it the wrong way. He was eating it like tail end. So once he would have got it down, it would have killed him anyways, bro. It, it, it was wild. So, yep, Jeff, with the legislation and the public view of the hobby, they're better off being responsible. What's how I'm sunny? I see you, man. Their tanks are all on one system and salt is on its own. Well, bro, I feel bad for them, animal, because as cloudy as that <laughs> them last tanks were, <laughs> if that's what they got looked to look forward to they in trouble bro because it's going to be cloudy on that whole wall bro on the whole wall i said what's up to the to j-rock man let's see uh he said my local fish store only holds the fish for a day before selling kind of a shame but when i use to shop there half their tanks would be under treatment for something and the fish weren't for man i went to uh about six months ago i went to another petco and it was the same way well that was a pet smart it was the same way you you just explained the fish was under treatment bro and wasn't for sale and it was some fish like i really wanted some long fin daniels it was you know some stuff i was trying to add to what i already have but we couldn't buy them because the fish was sick, bruh. Even the koi fish, the cichlids. Community fit like, bruh, how can you stay in business? And <laughs> I guess the fish is not what's keeping them in business, though. He said average keepers only stays in the hobby a couple years because they think it's normal to just keep buying fish. Man, nah. The cichlids I had, bro, I didn't at least had them three years. Like, they've been surviving. And if I'm not mistaken, I bought those from a pet smart. And those fish been surviving, bro. I have very little fish deaths. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but you know, I I'm doing something right to keep my fish alive as long as they've been alive. So, yeah, I think some don't have the room, at least the place. Man, it they have empty tanks um they just have stuff that really i ain't gonna say it doesn't matter but they didn't they didn't set their system up right there's no way you have empty tanks around the store and you have sick fish in your store so i haven't bought fish in years get a few live bearers and get their tank perfect boom endless fish yeah <laughs> you're right j-rock they supply themselves man He said, probably it looked financially impossible or at least stressful to run a lot. Bro, I, I understand it because especially when, you, like I say, you're not only selling fish, you, you're selling, you know, they sell a, a variety of things on top of fish supplies. They have hamsters, they have gerbils, they have, you know, birds, bro, they had snakes, tarantulas. They have a lot of different things to take care of, but then you have one person doing it. Like, how does that make sense? The, the quality of work is, is going to go down tremendously if you only have one person taking care of all these animals on top of dealing with customers. You know, you have to stop, help customers. Something is not going to get dead. And I don't I don't think the higher ups realize that, man. 
Petco go repay for all dead fish. He said, yo, just got home from a train, got a nine-hour print running and designing a plant holder for the rim of the tank. That's what's up, J-Rock, man. Need to go and put the mugs on the market. The plant holders. He said, personally, I think we have a responsibility to do our best with living creatures and stop selling certain species inappropriate to a hobby or at least 99% of keepers. Nah, you right. You right, first class, and. And, you know, it kind of, I ain't going to say kind of, it did hurt me, bro, to see them fish in there, like, in the condition that they was in. And, you know, you you want to save the mugs, but, of course, you don't have the space, you don't have the funds. All of that stuff adds up to, you know, fish just being left, left behind, bro. A local shop would be amazing here if they put decent fish in the shop. Man, go and get it started, Craig. You, you halfway there already, dog. You got enough uh, fish tanks, you know, where you could start you some up, man. Pretty sure you'll have a lot of support. It's like uh, big box stores or fish flippers. Yeah, that's all they care about. Huh? <laughs> hey, what's happening, Garcia? I see you, Doug. Or under observation. Yeah, bro, they didn't have, and that was the crazy part, animal. They didn't have no signs out there, man. It wasn't no... Not, not a sign on a single tank I saw that said sick or, you know, not for sale. It, it, it's wicked, man. Jeff Kane said, uh, I can agree with first class. Just leave my peace, my, peak moss alone. <laughs> for sure. j Rock said, man, they go through so many fish. The fish come in, Jack. It's hard to get healthy fish from pet code and it, uh, pet smart unless the person working. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And bro, I seen some deformed fish. I ain't never seen a fish with 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 an underbite or overbite, bro. They had a fish, a couple fishes in there with an underbite, and I was I looked at the first one, and I was like, nah, I'm tripping. <laughs> I seen a second one with an underbite. It ain't no way. <laughs> How many generations was that? <laughs> oh man. What he said, man. I have a few already different types. I have one that holds a plant cup and another one that holds the skeleton design. The one I'm making now is going to be longer for sale. Okay. So, man, when you get them up, man, let me know. I'll show promote them for you, dog. You know? Oh, shit. I had missed something up here. So how you guys try to lie? Let's get quiet to this 200. Nah, for real, y'all, man. I'm I'm like five away. Some. I'm like at 195, man. Y'all look out for your boy. Let me see where we at here, man. Craig said the staff that goes through Pet Smart, Pet Born, etc. is high by the time you turn up. He said they be all blow, man. <laughs> all fish keepers need a 3D print. Nah, for real, Sonny. I agree with that. It's a lot of stuff you can make with that 3D printer that'll be beneficial for your, your, your tank. All right. I'm also going to make one to give away on my show. Okay, for sure, man. Hit that like button, share button, subscribe button, man. Y'all heard, Birdo? Nah, for real. Let's see. I'm looking into it, Sonny. Just reading the chat, man. Make sure I don't, I don't miss nobody. Yeah, they was trying to give me some money off six. Man, nah, bro. Don't sell a sick fish. Get them, get them better, bro. Just go on and get them, get them well. Yeah. Craig said, our local pet born, we know the owners, they asked me to teach their workers some tank knowledge. I said, no thanks. Fuck that. People don't listen anyway. You teach them and they do what they want. <laughs> nah, for real, Craig. Craig say they don't listen anyway, man. You try to give people some knowledge. They still don't listen. I have to look out for a deal. 
nah and don't get me wrong bro petco pet smart they be having some deals like they got the half half off tank sales and stuff going on right now they even got some you know pet vital care program that you can get and like um depending on what pet you sign up whether it be a fish cat dog or whatever then you get a certain percentage off each item that you buy that is pretty helpful you know when you go in there and, and you buy you some fish then you buy fish food or fish supplies and they give you an extra 10 percent, or you know however much it is off of your purchase and you you um accumulate points you know on each purchase so that that'd be pretty good too man and um i i see that like you know it's a good thing for the fish keeper bro for the fish hobbyist but if I come in here and get some fish and they not up to par, then I'm now I'm disappointed. I almost don't want to buy anything else from this store, you know. I don't want to support a store that's a can't even take care of the animals. Craig, was he gonna pay you for that? <laughs> they said, nah, he just wanted Craig to come through there and give a give a um free speeches. That's all yeah bro we have been growing pretty nicely dog i appreciate everybody that's been you know tuning in to me man we've been growing real nice everything organic we ain't had to buy nothing you know no views no subs no no likes no comments it's all organic bro straight energy fuck knows first class but i'm not i'm not no teacher yeah, Craig be in there cussing on folks out, man, with it with his <laughs> his feet out. <laughs> I'll be back, peeps. I right, first class. Yeah, man, but I I just really wanted to come on here, you know, bro. Talk about my experience, man. I ain't even. I did um I did a video live about it, but it's just sitting back there on private, man. I'll probably show a little a little bit of it. But that definitely was a disappointment, though, that I went into a big box store and shh, it, it, I didn't. Organic is the way to do it. Yeah, Stefan, for sure. But, yeah, it, it disappointed me, man, to see them fish like that, dog. Nice looking fish. They had some nice selections, bro. Salt water and fresh water. But the quality just... It wasn't there, bro. They wasn't being taken care of. It, it, was, it was sad, you know. You see $20 fish just dead. So, yeah. uh, we got a lot of uh, fish stores though down here, man. I'm going to be doing some more um, pop-up on the fish stores. We got some, you know, uh, not big box stores. They're, they're more like mom and pop shops, but they in way better shape than than the pet codes or i could tell you that most definitely so i was in a pet smart a while back and a goldfish had jumped out picked it up looked at it and wondered if it was looking at me like please leave me <laughs> he said he was committing <laughs> man them fish don't want to be in there man and i looked at some quarry they had some quarries it was a cup on the back wall and i just so happened like looked up at the filter bro it was about six of them swimming by the by the filter bro i ain't ever seen quarries like swim on with a belly close up to the water like them, them fish wanted to get out of there dog Shit, I can't eat. I got two uh Cinnadonis catfish and they they never out. So they let me know the, the water was real poor quality. He said you bass the sunny, you sent it back to Yeah, bro, he was trying to get up out of there. <laughs> sunny to put him back. <laughs> nah, man. But I'm definitely gonna take a look at, at them, them fish stores y'all put it in the in the chat, bro. And I'm finna be doing some some research. Cause it was this one site that I was looking at, and um it say they get their fish from the Florida Keys. And I know the Florida Keys going through through something right now with their water, so I wasn't I ain't too for sure if I should order from them. Haha, <laughs> I should have brought it. 
Yeah, you should have bought that mug, man. Got him away from there. But nah, y'all, y'all definitely, you know, just be careful with these fish y'all getting, man. Make sure. Shit. I guess that's why it's a good reason to quarantine fish that you get from, you know, stores like that. If you decide to shop there. But I decided to not even, not even get anything from there, man. That was the first thing first class said. Hey, man, you're going to need to quarantine them fish. You say fine backyard exactly, bro. They fish usually are stronger and healthier. Yeah, cause they take care of them. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like a class uh, teacher that has you know a lot of students in a class. Well, she's not gonna be able to pay attention to everybody. So if you if you get find you a backyard breeder that's paying more attention to his fish, you know more hands on. He knows what's going on. It's not two or three people you know taking care of the fish is just him you have a better off chance or you like craig saying your fish being healthier being stronger you know who said get their fish from the keys now it's a website that i was looking at i was reading like they little bio and they were saying that they get their fish from the florida keys so i was wondering i don't you know i don't know how long how um how long it's been since they got their fish out of that water, you know, and, and right now that water's going through some type of bacteria or uh, algae or something. Some type of algae that's making the, the fish like spin around in circles and stuff. So I ain't I ain't for, too for sure how long it's been since they got anything out of the water. I don't want them to send it to me and then my fish get to tripping out, you know. But y'all, I see y'all threw up some nice selections, though. I'm going to definitely get those guys a, a look. Go back up here and see. But, yeah, man, what, what y'all been on, though? Uh, y'all had any of those experience lately with any uh, big box stores? Tripping out on the fish, man? you not taking care of the fish? Or what what's some things y'all done seen? Y'all done walked into a fish store and you immediately was like, nah, I'm not buying anything from here. I should have knew something was up when, when I seen all those watermarks on the glass. And it looked like the glass had been wiped down in a minute, man. I should have knew something was up. <laughs> so y'all boys ain't cleaning y'all glass around here. I know y'all water. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> let me get hey, man. Let me give give a quick shout out, you know, to, to all the platforms we on right now, man. We are on Rumble, Twitch, and uh YouTube, of course. Y'all head on over there to Rumble, check them out. It is a good platform to be on. Let's see what he say. Uh, when a fish is young, it needs to eat a lot to grow. When there is, when they get shipped all over the country, they don't feed them, and I think they don't get what they need. Yeah, 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 for sure, bro. For sure. And then from what I was, I was on a stream early and they were saying how, you know, they be medicating the corals and stuff before they ship them out. And that's not something good to do that you should do it after the shipment. So it's, it's just a few practices that people probably do wrong and then wonder why the, the survival rate is not as high on their shipments. Stephanie said, uh, been so long since I've been in a big box store, but I don't leave the house much. Yeah, I feel you. Said the same reason you didn't buy anything, bro. I seen the cloudy tanks from the door. It just turned around. <laughs> it is crazy because when I walked in, I didn't even look to the right, you know, to even see the fresh water side. Really, I, 
I kind of just focused right in on the salt water and I went right over there. And so I kind of pulled the phone out, the camera phone out, and I started recording from there. And then as I started going down, it just progressively got worse. And I was like, well, hold on, what's, going, <laughs> what's really going on? Hey, what's up? I'm George RB3. I see you, man. Appreciate you for coming through. You said, cool, I sure you on the community page. Hopefully, it will pick up a few subs. Man, appreciate that, Jeff, for sure. You the man, as always, Doc. He said, yo, I go but stay in the car, Steph, and send Belinda in for the disappointment. <laughs> uh, you wrong, Craig. What's up, George? Everybody saying, what's up, George? I share too, man. Appreciate that first class. He said, Stephen laughing at Craig. He said, there's actually good people at local store owners here to get fish. Yeah, and that, that's a good thing, too. Um, I was talking to the guy, like, you know, six months when I went, and he was telling me that if I wanted to order anything special, that he could do that. So if it was something they didn't have in the store, he was saying that, you know, he, he could order it for me. So I thought that was real cool, you know. Uh, let's see. I got to look to see them tanks when I walk through the door every time. Gee, it's a habit from being disappointed, like Craig said. Yeah, I, after that, I'm definitely going to be looking up from now on when I walk in Petco, PetSmart. But I've never saw that before in there, so I, I never really expected to see that, man. I've never seen, I never walked in a fish store and seen any fish in bad quality like that. So that, that was a first for me. Man, and I didn't went in the fish store plenty of day, many a days, man. Like I've never ordered offline, so all the fish, plants, or anything I ever got was from in person. So that's how I got my red Texas from a special order. Yeah, some some of the stores do special orders for you, man. You know, if you got something uh you want and they don't have in the store, they'll definitely order for you. You just gotta, you know, talk to them. But I, I've been fortunate to come across some, some cool uh, fish stores like that. But like I say, we have a lot down here, bro. It's it's a lot of fish stores down here. Y'all gonna get to take y'all on that ride with me so y'all can see them. Hey, what's up, Mike? I see you, man. Appreciate you for coming through. You talking about how I got disappointed in these. I went in uh, this pet coat the other day, man. And I was majorly disappointed bro they had dead fish and fish eating fish and cloudy tanks it was, it was crazy bro just touching bases um just trying to see man what what fish stores y'all recommend online you know uh going to where y'all didn't have some good experiences at ordering fish because i haven't ordered online yet so i'm just looking for some stores some good stores to that's credible. He said, Pets Domain opened up here. They all had amazing fish when they did their opening since that day. It's been total crap, and I'm so disappointed. Yeah, bro, and that's kind of how it was, you know, for me. Like I said, when I went in there six months ago, the place looked immaculate. Like, it was freshly built. Tanks was, you know, good. Everything was was brand new. They didn't bring anything old. You know, equipment wise from the from the old store to the new store so everything was was fresh bro so i just knew when i went back in there this time that i was gonna be in you know for some good stuff and it was the total total uh, opposite <laughs> yeah bait and switch exactly man but it was like i said it was pretty sad to see though man all those good fish just going to waste Cause they had some pretty expensive, you know, nice, even some exotic fish that I haven't, you know, saw before in person. They had some, bro, but they was they was dying. You could tell that they had a sickness. That, that was unfortunate, though. That was unfortunate, man. Imperial Tropics, definitely ripple online. Yeah, that's what um. I think that's what Animal was saying. I think we went through their site um, a few lives back. Man, they had some nice looking fish. They had some nice looking fish. 
car. If you stick to the known in the community stores, you're pretty safe. None are perfect for sure. Yeah, and I, I understand that, you know. I understand people going to have, um, you know, some, some mishaps, but sh- there's no way you, you should have that many dead fish in your, your fish store. Let's see, live aquarium wrapping up. All right, let me, let me check. Let me check them out. Live aquarium right there, man. Cause I be, I know I be upset, bro. If I order some fish online and the ones came, you know, messed up, I be pretty bummed about that. But like Jeff said, I know no, nothing is perfect, man. Um, so that's why I'm gonna try to order on the best day order on a Monday so you know hopefully everything goes right and it, it be zero it be here on time man I think I looked at live Aquaria before I need a good spot for a cleanup crew I know not a lot of you guys deal with a uh, salt water but I definitely need a, a cleanup crew her algae been going, getting out of control, man. Okay, y'all have been on Live Aquarium, man. Are they doing a spring fever deal up to 35% off? Okay, okay. That might be some. You might be on or something right there, Mike. Yeah, Mike came through with that one. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Look on that when we get off here, man. He said, Mike, help, help me harass Live Aquarium to reopen in a retail store. <laughs> the retail, yo. They, they, they definitely need to open up their location. It was some fish store, Jeff, I was checking out. They was from Wisconsin. I don't know if you, um, if you know any stores down there where you're at, man. They definitely had a, a store in Wisconsin. They had some pretty nice selections. Also, I was thinking about ordering from them. He said, I've heard of a lot of, I heard a lot of aquarium went downhill. Yeah, I, I kind of heard that too, bro, but they got some nice selections, man. I was on, look, I already got some in the cart in here. I was already on here before. <laughs> Yeah, I was already on here. I was gonna get a blood fire, a blood red fire shrimp, and a bandit coral shrimp. Yeah, see, I was out here looking already. You just gotta order like two hundred and twenty nine dollars worth of stuff though to get free shipping. If it's just aquatic supplies, you order fifty dollars and up, you get the free shipping. He say, uh, it's not the same live Aquaria as it was when I worked at Dr. Foster and Smith. Different owners. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be reading a lot of formals. So when I, you know, type in the best stores to go to or whatever, if, if you come up and read it, you know, they'll tell you if they didn't have bad experiences with their place or. But for the most part, I didn't hear live Aquaria was, was a pretty good a pretty good place they be talking pretty good about them but like y'all was saying they they did switch owners or something like that but what i like about them though man they they have a lot of stuff to select from you know how you go on some websites and it just be minimum and then most of the stuff be out of stock like shh. If I'm on your website, man, I'm ready to shop. But man, I, I definitely appreciate um I definitely appreciate all the um stores y'all y'all gave me, man. I'm gonna check them out for sure. So then you already know we're gonna be having some some, some unboxing videos.
So that's what I'm finna do now. I'm probably just get on my, get on here and look, man, see what I see, see what I can come across. But that was definitely my experience, man, with this with the, my big box store experience, bro. I can't believe I experienced that with the pet code. I, they let me down. They let me down, man. So they they are kind of trying, I think. I've only seen what they show on the channel. The last long-term employee I chatted with said it's employee owned now. I've also heard it's investor owned. So one thing about it though, man, you can tell that whoever is over there running um, that company, pretty sure they're gonna get it back on the ground, bro. Cause their website is it's a good looking website like i say they have a nice selection they have deals so it, it's a it's a pretty good website now as far as the quality of their livestock that's something you know i'll come to find out soon so yeah jeff yeah i wondered if you knew i've heard several things <laughs> Leave it to Anthony. He he heard several things. Ah <laughs> uh, man, but nah, it's definitely man. It's, it's been grand, man. I'm finna go and slide up off of here. We'll make this uh, I'm gonna chop it up. Make this mug a video so you know other people could know my experience, man. At the box stores, the Wisconsin location is only thirty minutes from me. So yeah, you definitely trying to get them to open open back up. Yeah, you definitely trying to get them. He say for sure, Joe. Nah, for sure, my guys. Wanna well, say, man, it's been grand. Y'all done roll with the car today. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to me, man. We we going up, up, and up. You hear me? We on 195 right now, and we still going. I appreciate everybody. That, he said, you about to deal, my You finna come up? You finna come up? i stay, man. I, you know, y'all gonna show your boy some company. Give your boy some company, man. You know what I'm saying? What you at? You on the post today, or you cooler? I know it was today, Saturday. I know they didn't have y'all full of lives today. Everybody was live today. He said, I didn't know Live Aquarius had new owners. They were one of my first online fish orders four years ago, and it didn't go well. Ah, man. I thought Mexicali was going to pop up. I don't know. He said he was, on, he was driving home. I don't know if he going to pop up, though. All right, then. Oh, no play, no play, man. What's up with it, man? Man, I know you ain't about to dip like that, though. Hey, hey, I was feeling got to put them jets on, man. I, I said real. shit, man. I said shit. I, I done went and got my charger and my extension cord <laughs> so I could reach my charger. And he about to get off, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, I bro, like I said, I know people then uh he said, Yeah, I, I missed a lot of lives today. Just spent some now nah, I feel that man. I had spent some time cleaning up earlier and I was just cooling. I said, But yeah, though, man. I said yeah, though, man. Oh, go ahead, man. Yeah, no, I was just saying, I, let me pop on here though, but I know I didn't see some of everybody go live today, so I ain't know. Seen them too. How 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 much patience people got, you know, for another live? But that's that's hey, what it is. You, we rolling you there. Could, you come in at the right time, though, dog. I see, man. See everybody they get they get burnt out. Get everybody bored. They be wondering, I still want to be on YouTube. Then boom, car pop up. You know, with that other energy. Like, okay, right. here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you know how it go, dog. Yeah, here we go. 
He said, I'm here till you go. I'm up for a while. Working on another screen. Got y'all on the second monitor. Just chilling. That's what I'm talking about, man. Right, man. I ain't even go to work today. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, shit. Y'all ride with me. I'm riding then, man. I'm riding. Let me, let me go get my I'm drink. Roll to the wheels fall off. To the wheels fall off this, man. man, man. <laughs> he say Live exactly. Aquaria was was flying fish express before Dr. Foster and Smith bought them out. I worked at Dr. Foster's and Smith from 2003 to 2009. Okay. That's what's up, Jeff coming in with the fish history. So I got one more blood for the day. Okay. So we 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 know June rolling then. We got one more for the day. That's but yeah, though, G. That, that that's pretty much what made me start ordering fish offline, man. Going to the fish store and, and being upset, man. So I had to resort to the online buy. Yeah, and, and see, I know you you would know because you didn't order, you know, pretty pretty heavily from offline now. So you know the difference from these the, the box stores that you was going in versus the online stores. Right, right. It's a, it's a big difference, bro. I guess my thing is, you know, I can't really visually see the fish. So you kind of just going off of their trust. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like like how I go in the store, I can see that the type of conditions that they keeping the fish in. But if I'm, I feel like I'm ordering offline, I can't see that. So I'm kind of just trusting these people that they didn't kept these fish in a, you know, you, good condition. You no, know, it took, it took me a minute before I just decided to go ahead and, and, and proceed with, with, you know, ordering the fish offline or whatnot, but yeah, I, I haven't had no problems offline. Uh, online, that's, that's good. That's good. Sunny say, smoke them if you got them. Stephen P say, same. Uh, Jeff says, Stephen P saying, I was helping my youngest daughter move today. Okay, okay. Man, the COVID years was the golden years of all of live streams. People in the fish fam stream twenty four seven. But they was just hey, bro, to, be, to be real, bro, if COVID would not never hit, bro, I, I probably wouldn't even um got in on the fish for real, man. But no. see, I I was in. I that's when I should have started recording during that time because from you know from that time till now, I know I would have built up a pretty nice um a pretty nice selection of community people and. My my fish game will be top tier. The reason right. why I say the reason why I say that because I didn't over these past two months, bro. I didn't gain so much knowledge and stuff just from the people I've talked to on here. So I'm pretty sure if I would have met y'all, you know, way before now, I'd be just that much more advanced in the hobby. But you know how some people say they don't watch fish videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I, I be on fish videos all day, every day, man. All day, every day, bro. There's always room to learn, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's always something new to learn about the fish game, bro. Yeah. He said, I wish I could remember the name of the mail order store I ordered from as a kid. No livestock, but as a punk kid, I save a lot of goods no pics or anything until dr foster came along okay so that's true but i would still like to delete the COVID years from my life <laughs> yeah i can understand it <laughs> oh man to, man i that i ain't even gonna just too much speak on that but i I ain't really feel like COVID was that big enough of effect, bro. More people died from getting that shot than the actual COVID. So that, the only the only problem I had with the COVID, man, was everything was shut down, bro. Yeah, that yeah, was, that I was like, my I like that part of it. That was my biggest problem, bro. Couldn't go in. You had to, you know what I'm saying, go through the drive through or if you want to get something to eat like that, you know what I'm saying? Man, even put money on the gas pump, you had to have your mask on. Right. 
<laughs> it's like just seeing how others keep yeah june for real and i think that's you know i said it before i said again i think that's what's unique about this you know hobby and community is everyone keeps something different so you know it's always something to be learned you I could learn something from you. You could learn something from me because I might keep a fish you never kept and you got one I've never kept. So, you know, we we both come together because we like of the love of the fish, but we also could teach each other something. He said, I still will have found the fish tubers. I, w I was watching Dan's fish and she was in his basement attempting to get his wife on board. <laughs> <laughs> Freeways were a blast. Yeah, everybody was at the at, uh, at home, so wasn't no traffic really. Yeah. Nah, for real though, man. But it, it it shut some things down, but it also opened up doors for for people to really learn learn themselves. Like at that time when you couldn't go to work or something, people really figured out a way to make some money, or you know, they brought out that it brought out the people creative side exactly you know what i'm saying because it where you was just depending on this job now you you saw what you was able to do on your own and they kind of like you know it fueled a lot of people to be entrepreneurs bro and and business owners some people made it some people seen that it wasn't for them you know everybody not made to be a business owner but you know everybody not made to be a worker either Gotta, right. You gotta boss up, man. It ain't nothing wrong with wanting to own, you know, own a business or want to be more successful than you are. Sure. And I think that Petco could really use that. Like, even though you're successful, bro, it's nothing we want to be more elite. Like, I'm pretty with the type of money they have, they could really become a an elite, you know, supply chain far as fish they got dog food you know pet pet care grooming and all of that stuff but they really could be top tier on it on the fish bro yeah but that all go back to the employees though man they gotta hire some top tier employees most definitely right most definitely man hey what's happening dj hey. guppy Yeah, DJ Guppy fish in the building. I had to get DJ Guppy on the fish radio, man. For real. Let's say where we at. Stephen P said, uh, uh, we already read that. Or did we? I found the stream during COVID, but started fish keeping in 2019. I was already working from home and everything. Okay, okay. It's crazy because I used to see people like streaming and stuff here and there on the fish, but I never really thought to get on it myself, like stream fish. I remember. Yeah, that. I, I really didn't catch streams until like probably last year sometime, maybe the year before. Yeah. The whole year of COVID, my f me pretty bad. Uh, coffee and biscuit time. All right, Craig, I see you. It was rough. Good munchy food. <laughs> so I wasn't alone. Yeah, it was. It had to suck for people that had to deal with that stuff alone. So if you was all, you was already alone before COVID, then you didn't have no choice but to be alone because people couldn't come around. But devastate. Today, two weeks, got my first saltwater tank. I'm gonna pass it on. Go and keep. Today, two weeks, got my first salt water tank. We gonna pass it on. Not sure what that meant, DJ. You was an essential worker during the COVID, bro. Man, nope. Mm -mm. Nah, but so, I at that time though, I was at this at um, what was I? At? I was at Old Raleigh's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was at Old Raleigh, so you know people, people still needed their uh their car parts. So I don't know if you, I guess you consider that essential, huh? I don't know. 
Well, what what you think about Royal Oak, the the fire log company? Well, basically a charcoal company. Would you consider that essential? Depending on what they was you know, had charcoal for, like if it was just for barbecues and hell no. <laughs> but if they was if they had like some natural you know coal where it was fuel and gas and stuff like that then yeah today two weeks got my first show yeah DJ Gubbin and hopped in the saltwater game I think things got bad for us 2019 say so it was essential my wife so I was essential. My wife was essential as well in at a nursing home that her dad was a resident at. People in toilet paper, what a time then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, they was going wild with the hand sanitizer, the mask, gloves, and toilet paper. People were going to jail for stockpiling that stuff. For no reason at all. For no reason, man. That's a rough place to be anytime, let alone during COVID. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I couldn't believe the stuff people, you know, was really doing, bro. But like I say, it made a lot of people money, though. For the fact people started selling masks, started creating masks. They started, you know, really tapping in to a side that wasn't unlocked before COVID. He said, to essential. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on who you ask, first class. <laughs> uh, I think even the prostitute shut down. <laughs> no, they they didn't, buddy. I know a couple peas. They did. <laughs> uh, hubby was a was a prepper. We were stocked. Yeah, bro. Like some people had they stockpile right, but then they started getting arrested for it because they started finding out they was price gouging. You know, as long as they wore mask, he said, as long as they wore masks, they was good. Bro. They mask had a hole in it. I think I seen. Go ahead. Now, what you gonna say? I was gonna say I think I seen your live where uh, you was at the fish though, but I didn't get to look at it or whatnot. Shit, it only lasted about twenty minutes, man. Once I started walking on down and seeing them dead fish, I was like, man, I'm gonna cut this short. Ain't even worth like posting, huh? Nah, cause I had started uh like after I started seeing the dead fish, I started looking at the tanks and you know other little stuff that they had. But once I looked up and then I seen that cloudy tank, I was like, man, I'm not finna record that no more. Hey. I, I, I couldn't even believe it, dog. Like I never seen a tank that cloudy before. But it, like I said, it was like an algae bloom. You know how when somebody have an algae bloom, right? That's what it looked like, but it was it was crazy though. He said as soon as it hit China, I told my wife to pick up three extra family packs of TP and paper towels. We made it through the shortage. That's crazy. <laughs> Shit, it came from China. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Humanity sucks at all time. They price gouge the people in Flint for water. Yeah, that's wicked, bro. She definitely thought I was nuts. COVID wrecked me. No parties, no catering. Still struggling, but fish are happy. Yeah, bro, it, it was it was hard for a lot of people to shake back after that. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, some empty people took a lot of losses. Two years to empty the pantry. Yeah, they they took a lot of losses, bro, and a lot of people got put out of business, bro. That was in business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it it was a lot of things that that took place and that it happened to people that was really irreversible almost, you know? Because if right. you had your, your life savings, your retirement or something like that, 
into this company and you got shut down because you couldn't have any more sales and you didn't have any delivery or nothing like that. Shit, you got took out, bro. Took, took right on at the game. You got took out the game, man. Lots of empty stores. It was. That's how a lot of people, though, started popping online because a lot of the stores was closed, so they just made an online store. So, look, we, we haven't seen it in our home. We're part of the, of the few who have never had it. Yeah. Restaurant biz is so different now. Yeah, it is, bro, because a lot of them stuck with those business models. Like, they seen that they was able to treat people however, and they were still going to come, and they stuck with it, bro. Some of them still got the dining room closed. You can't even come in there to eat. Exactly. <laughs> like, they just stuck with that, bro. And it, it's crazy. The Chinese spot's not even the same no more. A lot of people, they got put out of business. A lot of people were scared to eat at their place because, you know, it was saying it was coming from them. Right. That's what I was saying when uh when Jeff was like, when it first hit China, I was like, shit, it came from China. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he was saying when it first when it first came, when it first hit, he, was t he told his wife to go get some paper towel and uh, toilet paper. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying she, he told her to go pick up some things. But that's how, man, we went in the stores. Some of them were empty. Like, some of the stuff you usually buy, it wasn't even available. <laughs> you had to go with the alternative. The next best thing. Yeah, nah, bro, but I'm, I'm glad. I'm really glad that era over, though, but... Like I say, I, I really uh during that time too. That's what got my my customer service skills up, and I had to end up getting a uh, a studio, like a music studio. So I was, you know, doing different stuff like that. In the midst, of, I had the fish tank at the at the studio, so I had to fish in there. I'm educating people on the fish when they come through there. I feel like they're gonna try it again, though. Well, they already have it. It's it's stuff. I heard of something called a uh, disease X. It said it was worse than COVID. It was. I didn't heard of something that it's some type of skin disease or something that people getting out. So it's like it's, it's a few different things that's out there. But once again, COVID was out before we even even heard about it. Like they had a movie about that. It was on a bottle. Uh, the back of Lysol bottles, cans and stuff. So it was already around before we even heard about it, bro. It had it had been here. They was just some. They just somehow put everybody in, in mass hysterica, and it made them think that hey, this is gonna take you out. <laughs> and everybody was in fear, bro. And I and I didn't get it. Like I wasn't one of them. One of them people. Like I didn't really feed into it. Like. I they wasn't on wearing the mat, huh? They were feel monger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, I wasn't into like, oh, I need to wear my mask. I need to this. I was, I wasn't on that type of stuff, bro. And we, my people, my family didn't experience it like that. So I really don't see why everybody was such in the uproar about what was going on, and it was crazy. He said oh, while it was all right. He said oh, while it was still I heard, got you. He said while it was still only in China, I could see the shark. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. He said we were allowed one pack at a time, so I bought unnecessary. I bought unnecessary things regularly. Yeah, just crazy. There was a dude here in Tennessee who got busted selling essential items three times what they cost, and they said he was doing it in a. He was, he was doing a public service. Yeah, right. What kind of music studio? Shit, bro. I kind, whatever kind of music came through, I record whoever, you know? I even had some, um, 
like like a band with with drums and all that type of stuff they wanted to come through so it, it don't matter who it was but it was a music studio record and make yeah. beats stuff like that back whoa all right for sure say the social security roles were reduced yeah it cut a lot of jobs funny g i should have capitalized on it yeah you should bro a lot of people got rich during covid too a lot of people so ultra fest miami was a washout we had four or five inches of rain friday and saturday oh damn Y'all be like watching them uh, rolling loud performances on uh, DJ. Say people by themselves in a car with a mask. Crazy. Tell me about it. I used to laugh at them people. <laughs> like you in a car by yourself. Why you got a mask on? <laughs> bro, believe it or not, I still see people doing that, bro. But it's even it's even more crazy when That shit when blow my mind. When you realize the true facts of you're not even supposed to wear a mask if you don't have anything. You're only supposed to wear the mask if you got something. See, uh, uh, the mask is made uh, for you to not give someone something. Like if you coughing, you put your mask on so you're not coughing out. If you got a mask on and someone has something, you still could get that. Right. So I'm not really sure why people was wearing masks and they didn't have COVID. Like it wasn't preventing you. It wasn't preventing you from not getting it. <laughs> I just say all of it was unnecessary. Yeah, Neil Neil DeGrasse. He put me on that one, man. He one of the smartest man in the world. You can go check him out. He's a scientist. He got the facts for you. He can tell you way better than I can. I just just know that's what he was saying. Hey, yeah, Jeff, you could be retired, man. You could be Jeff right about now, man. So I still see people. Bro, it still be people with masks on. They do. They do. Guess they wait for it to come back. The mask is killing you. I'm pretty sure it is, Craig. <laughs> I mean, for real, because you're breathing out carbon dioxide, bro, and breathing it right back in with a mask on. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So there was a university shortly after the, the vid hit the VID. Oh, he caught the COVID. Oh, it hit here and they proved the mask didn't work. So they all know what they what they thinking, bro. But people are just being naive. Say like breathing in your own stink all day. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, for real, Craig. Craig said, "Get a little funky up in that mask, huh?" It's a dude, you know they should out of there when you can smell it through the mask. <laughs> <laughs> say, boy, boy, your breath potent. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> he said, "I cough." Oh my god, I cough. People, bro, like you couldn't even cough. You couldn't sniffle. You couldn't do none of the regular stuff, like. What about allergies? I know me, bro. I got bad allergies every time the the seasons change. Mm -hmm. Man, it, it made you feel bad to have allergies at that time. You couldn't have no regular symptoms of allergy. They thought you had some. They get looking at you crazy. See, I got bad allergies and sinuses, bro. Yeah, so that's a double whammy. And it's always uh, when uh, fall go to winter and when winter go to spring, bro. That's when exactly. it hit me the worst. Exactly, exactly. He said, my mother-in-law has real bad allergies. She wears masks for years before COVID. Okay. j Ross said, we, we were never scared, but we were cautious because my son is a immune deficiency and COVID could probably kill him if he got it bad so we just stayed away from him you know I, I get that man I get that you being cautious you know you definitely but I think that's really who it was targeting like people that was probably already a little bit of sick or the old and the old people 
that was already like a lot sick you know bro they were trying to rock they were trying to write off everything as covid man nah and and that that's what tripped me out you you go to covid for some i mean you go to the hospital for something small and then they tell you you got covid (laughs) i didn't get that part i didn't get that part at all like they putting people on on what is it? Breath a lot? No, not a breath a lot. Ventilators, respirators, or whatever it is. Yeah, bro, giving them morphine and stuff like that stuff slows your heart rate down, like uh, morphine. So you giving that to a person that there's not anything wrong with, and you slowing their heart rate down, then that means you killing them people, bro. Nah, I really yeah. didn't get that part of it. Like, well, you you telling me anything? I go to the hospital for that. <laughs> Bro, I, I had a cousin. I had a cousin, bro. He got the first, the first jab, right? Okay. He get it. He get the second jab, right? Yeah. And died from a heart attack, bro. Not even ten days later, bro. Ah oh, man, that's wild. Right. My boy was at the mall and everything, bro. And he went. Uh, he was complaining about his chest. So. Yeah. uh they went to the urgent care clinic or, or whatever they went to, and bro died in the in the urgent care clinic, bro. Not not ten days later after getting that second shot. I mean that second jab, bro. And, and that's I said, how, damn. And that's really how I seen it happen too. To so, uh, one of uh, one of the uh, this dude I knew, his pops, bro, had just retired from like the cable company, thirty right. years in the game. Dude went out for a walk. A walk animal and passed away after being retired for two weeks. A one week yeah. from a retirement party. Getting them damn shots, bro. Right. Like, I, I, that's why I ain't do it, man. My, my T lady still got a cough right now. And she had got this shot. I told her don't do it. Yeah, like, nobody in I my house like, got it. Nah, man, I, I can't rock with it. Cause I seen what it was doing to people. Like they don't even know what the shot is. You know what I'm saying? They came out with it too quick, bro. Too quick. But then, like, like J. Rock say, man, some people were living scared. And what does that do when your body goes into like a fight or flight mode? You go into fear, then your immune system gets weak. It's kind of just like these fish. If they keep getting pestered, you know, by a bully, another fish that's bullying them. Their immune system get weak. They fear. They 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 fear for their life now. They scared. Now they now they more susceptible to get sick. And that's just like a human, bro. If if you always you turning the news on all the time and you always letting them feed that into your head, they just putting stress in. They they putting stress on you. They putting instilling fear in you where you like. Damn, is it, it, it? I'm scared to go outside now. I don't even want to go to the grocery store because of this COVID. Stuff. Like, that's just the mind frame it was putting you in, and you're not knowing the whole time is weakening your immune system. And I was thinking, you know, like you build your immune system by touching different surfaces, but we're not even going outside anymore. And there's new bacteria and stuff getting introduced into the world. Then when you do go out into the world, you get sick. It's just as simple as that, bro. That's why it's good for you to be outside so your body could build up. Your immune yeah, system. That immune build up, system. Yeah, that's just my, my my little, you know, take on it. He say that. Uh, all right, though. He said, okay, most people lack oxygen in the brain anyway. <laughs> nah, for sure. I have to admit, the government had me fooled for a few months. Yeah, they had a lot of them fooled, bro. I do still have to wear masks in some customers' homes at their request. Ah, oh, that sucks, Jeff. My wife have to do the full PPE gear with the face shield. If one, in, if one employee or resident tests positive, dang. He said, I was waiting mm-hmm. for I was waiting for them to claim a fart was spreading COVID. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. Whenever you went to the doctor, that's why some people were scared to even go to the hospital, bro, at that time. Because they did not want to get diagnosed with that stuff. 
That's sad, man. Yeah, because like you said, some people went in for minor shit and he didn't came come out. Up. Yeah, and then come back out. Like I like I had a partner, bro. His mama went to the hospital with like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some respiratory shit going on, bro. And yeah. they slapped her on the uh slapped her on the ventilator, bro. And she died, cuz. Yep. I heard a story about that. Same kind of, same scenario. And in, in the they, the woman was like, uh, what happened to my, my dad? You know? He was just fine when I left the hospital. Now y'all calling me talking about I need to come up here and say my goodbyes. They're like, what? Well, yeah, we had to put him on a ventilator. The ventilator? <laughs> so it was just all messed up, bro, at that time, man. But yeah, like you say, it became mandatory. I wasn't getting it exactly. So I've been jabbed, but not from them. It was Belinda. She had a good job. She wife and got you. They're not going to lie. Knock that ass man. out. Nah, straight up. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was really entertained with all the people going into the stores and fighting with the stores about a mask. Shit, I was one of those, bro. I went in there. I put, I be like, I put my money on the counter. And be like, hey, let me get you know fifteen on you know, point one. Man, I went went out there. I went to the gas pump, trying to pump my gas. Wasn't on. I went back in the store. She like, man, I told you you had to have a mask. I said, man, I just gave you the money and walked right back out. Bro, she ain't even cut my pump on, dog. What? Yeah, it, it was that serious, bro. I don't even want to say what I did. Did a turbo tax and it asked me if we got. <laughs> she said I did a turbo tax and it asked me if we got the vaccine. What the fuck is that crap? Damn. What your taxes got to do with your vaccine, man? They probably were gonna penalize you on the cool if you did that. <laughs> Shit, was this recently or around that time? I don't know. That what Jeff just said. This year, so. <laughs> oh shit! Fish fry. I mean, who farted? <laughs> I tested positive last Thanksgiving. Damn, twenty twenty three. Jeff Kane. I'm pretty sure it, it was quite. Yeah, man. It might be me, man. Let that win pass. Yeah, I'm the only one at the house caught it, bro. For real, that's where yeah. <laughs> the only one. I sent out about ten thousand mass clips to doctors, EMT, firefighters, and ER rooms around the country for free to them. Ah man, that's what's up, man. Shout out J Rock, dog. Doing a good deed. Yeah, Jeff, man, my bad, bro. So I'm dozing off, friends. Talk to y'all soon, man. For sure. Appreciate your first class, man, for staying up long as you could. Y'all give a big hand to first class. <laughs> Take care, man. Uh, for sure. Yeah, like saying good night, good night. But yeah, bro, you been you been doing anything with your uh with your friend? Uh yeah, man. I I got some few projects coming up, man. Uh I actually do. I just really been trying to decide um, what, what kind of prints and stuff I'm going to go with. Uh-huh. So, so, yeah, it, it's just been, you know, a few things I've been trying to figure out. Right. You've been brainstorming. Yeah, man. You got to gotta figure some things out, you know, before you just jump off in rush. You got to see which which way is going to be uh more efficient you know yeah definitely he said uh i got refused smokes because i had no vaccine certificate what and she said that was this year what that's crazy TurboTax doing it like that? I said, you serve me or I'll take him. <laughs> I know Craig Hell where he stay at, bro. <laughs> Probably just go in there and boss hog. <laughs> you listen here, mate. 
I tell you what, I fight you for it. <laughs> Australia. So I said, you didn't ask the lady in front of me, why are you singling me out? Oh, man, they had a vendetta against you, doc. She said, I can. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's saying more little story. I got my smokes, though. Craig vaccine certificate. Did y'all go? Did y'all have to go through the COVID apprenticeship? Yeah, a lot of people was faking them damn, um, them damn COVID cards, too, bro. On your phone, first class. Yeah, did you see that, bro? What that? A lot of people was faking them uh, COVID cards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, said, Yeah, man, that that's wicked though, bro. I, I really, I really wasn't with that, man. But I'm glad we got over. You know, we got past that shit. This goddamn four years later, I got shit. Still ain't normal. It still ain't normal, bro. I don't think we'll we'll never really be back to you know normal. Nah, they got me when all the stores start closing up past ten, past ten, eleven o'clock. The store's not even open no more. <laughs> right. Walmart stopped being twenty four hours. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad it's gone too, Craig. But sure. So, I, how do y'all think that affected the, the the fish stores at that time? I know a lot of them had to close early and stuff. Like, do y'all think that affected their shipment on the fish? Yeah, or and the, and no. Or, or the pricing? You think that's kind of how the pricing got messed up? The one I was going to, it was still open, so. But the fish stayed sick, so <laughs> that's where the online came in at. Oh, uh, okay. He said, I miss Walmart 24 out. Yeah, that was the days. you said 100%, man. I kind of feel like it too, bro, because I know during that time, a lot of tax tariffs and stuff was going on. So we, we started getting taxed harder for a lot of goods. So I think people that was getting shipments in, you know, from from different countries they was getting taxed so they made the, the prices and stuff go up on top of it was stuff still stuck in them cargo ships in the water like it was stuff still stuck on the water for a lot of people so you couldn't yeah, even I forgot get about food. that yeah you couldn't even get you know some stuff so it it, it kind of made the market you know out of loop bro he say that's still happening damn Sunny our store shop. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of that had had played a role into how we get the fish and stuff now, man. That's why I be thinking about uh like breeding the mugs and selling them back to them. Cause I'm pretty sure they'll rather buy from you locally then like then you really have, can't you really can't sell the big box store though wow can you I, I don't know that's why I'm I'm wondering though I'm pretty sure they would rather buy from you though locally than to have to get it shipped yeah you are right but I didn't know they'll, they'll buy fish from you know what I'm saying Oh, one yeah, specific yeah, yeah. person yeah if you if you got a good nice stock and you can keep up with a uh demand they'll buy from you bro they are what they'll show rather buy from you than to have to order from you know overseas and, and half of they fish don't make it or they sick or something if they could buy from somebody locally would they know where to it's a good quality source. They're going to do it. He said, I can I was, see. I I... Go ahead. I was just going to read this. He said, I wasn't working. Um, my wife and daughter was working from home. Stressed so much, not making money. My wife says that 
why my heart screwed up. <laughs> I think it's because I only have a tank outside. Yeah, bro. That that definitely be stressful when you can't make you no uh, no money. Can't do shit without the bread. But I, like I say, though, that's what started making champions, though. People start realizing, like, oh, I could I could buy this, buy this, put it together, and then sell it, and people going to buy it from me. Or I could just go buy these boxes of gloves and charge, you know, $5. It. Like, they was just doing all kind of wild stuff. <laughs> they were doing all kind of wild stuff. Or getting a mask, and, you know, people start wanting customized masks. So, shit. Oh, I would get customized, man. He said, DJ, it definitely affected all of us more than we think or know. Nah, definitely. I think I think the, the Gov was just trying to test their limits, though, really. I think they was really trying to see how much they could make us do or not do. Yeah, fear mongering. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you, you, you can't make everybody in the world stay at home. There's no way. So they they was just really trying to instill fear in you. But they damn near what, did it though. Once they seen that, and then they seen that, oh, we could make Ali Mutt put on masks and it. They did that, bro. Yeah, we crumbled. We crumbled, Craig. We did. <laughs> but I can say though, I was not going for it, bro. I was standing on my shit, bro. I was not going for it. We were still outside, huh? Man, outside. If you was tripping on the, uh, if you was tripping on the mask, then I wasn't coming in. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't want me uh -huh. enough. I, I wasn't coming in. Then. I take my business elsewhere. Cause at that point, I started seeing it as like a little tactic to tell who you don't and who who you don't want to come in, who you do and don't, you know? It was, right. at, at some point, it stopped just being about the mass and it, it's if I want you in my store or not, depending on who you are. What five tripped me out, man, five what tripped me out was the, uh, on the heavy duty. yep. Was the workplaces that, what tripped me out was the workplaces that uh tried to uh implement that six feet shit yeah like how, how you expect your employees to work together but you want them to stay six feet apart how, how, <laughs> how can that work bro like for real <laughs> i was working at Where's amazon rent, bro yeah. right i was working at amazon bro and they'll write you up bro if you weren't six feet from what? the next person in front of you bro everybody had to stay six feet bro they had people actually patrolling through Amazon, bro, to make sure people were staying six feet apart, bro. Ah, if they weird. catch you, right, if they catch you on camera and you look like you less than six feet apart, you either get fired or they'll write you up. Cause... Ah, man, that's wicked, bro. Wicked as hell. He said, for a lot of deal, a bunch of people from the sheriff's office got arrested for PPP loan. <laughs> Love my South Florida, but if you're not scamming, you're not living. Nah, DJ, for real. Thank God I'm afraid of needles. <laughs> for sure, Craig. He said, I haven't drunk water in years. My veins would be like, hey. <laughs> you better drink some water, man. <laughs> I'd be right there with Craig, though. Hey, Manal, Manal, though, a lot of people did get hit for the PPP loan, bro. And they still looking for the people. Still looking for them, bro. There's a lot of people they ain't got. Yeah. That's why I say, though, I think if you got the, paper, the money and you did what you were supposed to do with it, I think you're good. But if you got that money and you start buying all this unnecessary stuff, you're out of there. 
So all you that got that PPP money and you went and bought them 350 gallon tanks and stuff, they coming to get you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and confiscate the fish. <laughs> confiscate the fish. <laughs> they be messed up. They see they see you done bought that, that tank with the PPP money. They be like, yeah, we got to take these fish. <laughs> In this tank, we taking the stand and everything. <laughs> oh man, damn, that, that should be crazy. You say they they might have been so they could stay open. Some states and counties rules were more strict than others. He said, "What?" He said, "What, Craig? You say the water for the fish?" <laughs> they government fish now yeah <laughs> bro i could definitely see that bro they would do that like they got your fish in the evidence room <laughs> and five gallon buckets and five gallon buckets. <laughs> water splashing yeah Big oh, boy man. air, big boy air one in a five gallon bucket. Yeah, Yo, you, you got my air one in a five gallon bucket, man. Did you at least put an air stone in it, man? <laughs> hey, Frank, the, fli- the fish back there splashing again. <laughs> <laughs> one jumped out. <laughs> oh, bro, I could totally see that, though. Oh, that'd be some weird shit, man. I don't think they think about that. That's like them people in Florida when they were going going to them people's house killing um I don't know if it was pythons or something like that. Yeah, I seen that bro. You seen that? They, they, killed, get, they been, Yeah, they they killed this man, all his pythons, bro. But then the it breed. was one that wasn't. It was a a boa constrictor or something. I don't know if I'm saying it backwards. But either way it Can't goes. Remember. They killed that man pet though. They definitely killed that man pet. He said evidence room workers gotta learn the nitrogen cycle. <laughs> 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 nah, for real. Cause they, they, gonna keep try to keep that, they gonna try to keep that mug uh, uh alive just as long enough until you go to court. Mm-hmm. They gonna need that for evidence. Specimen one, man. I be mad in the mug. They got my my coil in the bucket. Yeah, <laughs> <Not> my... <laughs> all in glass jars and shit. I'm calling up there, man. Did you put a heater in there? It need a heater. You gotta <laughs> put a heater in there with my coil, bro. Nah, man. That's wicked, though. I'm glad I ain't do nothing like that, man. I ain't got to be looking on my shoulder to worry about no no fraud, PPP stuff and all that. Shit. I'm good. That ain't a good way to live, looking over your shoulder. Nah, 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 man. That ain't comfortable. Oh, so you did, huh? I said it all. Yeah, man. What's been going down with your fish room, though? Shit, man. I just, uh, I just recently got a, uh, what is this? Tiger, um, freshwater tiger moray eel. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's pretty nice. He's small though. I'm gonna have to grow him out. And a, uh, yeah. a elephant nose fish, uh, oh, African, yeah, African butterfly fish, and uh, two leopard centipomas. Centipomas. Af- yeah, leopard bush fish. I ain't never seen them. Let me see. They small too. They about probably the size of a quarter, or a little bit more. Yeah, ah, right, that's what's up, man. 
That uh puffer fish still living? Yeah, he's still kicking, bro. Ah, that's I what's up. I gotta take him and put him with the others. He 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 finally made it, man. Let letting them people know what happened to that mother, man. Man, he came in with no water in the bag, and he barely was doing anything, man. I had to uh, I set him in a net and I put him in front of the uh the flow from my filter for a good little minute, and he came back through. So he shook back. Yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised, man, that he came with no water in the bag, bro. Cause I I didn't order from that spot a few times, bro, and it never happened like that. You feel what me? What you think? What you think happened? You think his his spine like punctured, punctured the bag or something like that, or was the box smushed or what? Uh, the inside of the box was a little wet, bro. But it, it I couldn't really tell if it had a hole in the bag or not. So I really don't know, bro. It was just uh, an empty uh, bag, bro, with a corner, a corner of water, bro. Ah man, that's crazy. But he, it's even more crazy though that he he pulled through. Yeah, he bounced think, back. You would think, you know what I'm saying, something like that to be detrimental, but it show you though how how uh, resilient the fish be. Yeah, he came back, and I got reimbursed, <laughs> and, and I ordered another fish. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just reinvested it back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I spent it back with him. So, oh, yeah. That's what's up. That's really I the only where choice do, I had. I wonder do, where do uh, Imperial Tropicals get their fish from? I see they in Florida. They breed a lot of their fish, bro. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they had... um. Yes, I will. A Americans. few big ass puns outside of they uh outside of they uh establishment. Yeah, I see it say we're America's longest standing and highest volume breeder and shipper of live aquarium animals. Okay. So no, I, I only order I only order from like three spots though, for real, for real. Wet spot tropicals and uh Imperial Tropicals, uh, yeah. and Predatory Fins, um, and I shop with uh, Global Fish Company every now and then. Imperial Tropicals only got fish. Uh, I think they got a lot of more other stuff. They got plants. They Ooh. got invertebrates. Yeah, they say plants, invertebrates. Oh, okay, okay. Here go the snails. I think all this fresh water, though. Yeah, all this fresh water. They got some brackish. Nah. You ever had a brackish yeah. tank? Nah, I never had a brackish. No. What about y'all in the chat? I... Who? I said anybody in the chat, man, y'all had a brackish tank? I wanted to do a brackish, but I said if I do brackish, I might as well go full salt. So if I do, I go full salt. It's an animal's miracle puffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that mug definitely a miracle, man. Because it was only a corner of water in that bag, like he said, man. Of course. Kill that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that must survive. Right, um, bro. Like I said, it surprised 30, me coming years, from where I ordered it from. Dang, Jeff, 30, 30 years ago ish. Well, how 30 years ago? Uh, probably when he owned a uh, brackish tank. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, see, they, that's what they had a dwarf crayfish. That's kind of like something that they had up there. That mug was blue. And that mug, that mug was scratching for his life, bro. <laughs> he was just trying to get, he was trying to get something off of him. Like, I knew something was wrong with him. That boy had them parasites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you ever seen the, the one video where the dude, he be going to like pick him up when they be like in the sand and he'll get the parasites out of their gill. 
and it'd it be like a parasite living inside of that gill and that gill plate mm-hmm. and he'll pick them out he'll pick the bugs out for them and then let them go but it's just crazy though to see that stuff in real life mud skippers man i wouldn't mind having some mud skippers bro i definitely like those he said, yeah, i think that'll be interesting yeah he said uh i lucky i have i have a really good local fish store one mile from my house and within 20 minutes a bunch of top quality places that's what's up gill flukes that's what the parasite called yeah a lot of these pet stores a lot of these pet stores be selling these uh moray eels as freshwater moray eels bro but they really be brackish you feel uh, me uh, okay man me, so people mislabeling stuff bro right so people buy them thinking that they are freshwater moray eels and they just yeah they perish because after so long they have to go in brackish water man that's wild Stephen P said, man, water change is done. Gonna try and get some sleep night off. Man, appreciate you for coming through, for real. See you next time, man. So, rest well, young, for sure. But yeah, bro, that's what it be, too. And now I'll tell you that at the fish, though, and like you say, you, you put them in fully fresh water, and it's after a while, they end up perishing. Right. Nobody told you they supposed to be in brackish. Mm-hmm. You know, you do got some some species that can do full fresh or full salt, but if they need that mixture, then you got to give them that mixture, man. Got to. So man, like a. <laughs> like an Indian moray, uh, Indian mud moray. I seen they were selling uh those at the fish store that I was going to. They was uh selling them as full fresh water, but I did my little research or whatnot, and come to find out they brackish. <laughs> I was like, yeah, buddy, you folk, boy, they know what they be doing. Yeah, they be wanting you to keep on buying. Mm-hmm. Man, this um, what is this a gold Australian killie, Australia killie or something? This mug, nice. You put it up on the screen. I'm finna show y'all, man. Watch this. Look at this mug. You see that mug? Yeah. That mug, nice. Yeah, now that's something different. Yeah, that, that mug, nice, though. That I don't have no information a, on it. A gold Australia killing. Nah, not really. So we have yet to fill in the description of care for all our fish. So independent research is highly suggested. <laughs> so do you do your own due diligence, man? You be purchasing these fish because they ain't telling you very much about them. Somebody be them bought a, a a fish too advanced for them. Yeah, or that little mud be aggressive or something. Be turn up all his other fish. <laughs> See a lot of these guys. What the hell is this? A horse face loach. I ain't never seen that. That's what I noticed too, bro. These stores be having like, be really having um different selections. 
Cause like when I went on uh, Imperial Tropics, they didn't have a lot of these fish. And I'm pretty sure they, this place ain't got a lot of fish in Imperial Tropics cut. Right. Probably just the place where you at. Cause I see these people like in Oregon or something like that, or Portland or something. So they yeah, probably basically. Did. You basically got to search different websites, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, you Smart. might buy from you might buy from one website and go to another one and be like, "Damn, I should have came to this one first. <laughs> you feel and, me? And, I, and, I, and see, I think that's why I'm doing what I'm doing is, is like asking around. Yeah, that's why I'm asking around. Best way to do it. Before I just make that purchase, but like I say, I'm, I'm really not looking for no fish. I just want like a clean up crew and some plants. Clean up crew for your salt. Yeah. Something like uh. I was looking at uh K- KJE. He got some nice selection on some plants, but a lot of his out of stock though too. Um, check out Aquatic Arts. See this this was this uh you still can see the screen? Yeah. See this is that site they was talking about a while ago. Yeah, see how you, query. yeah you see how you go to like a like a cleaning pack reef cleaning package. Oh yeah, I see. You know what I'm saying? So they have like already like a pre pre-assortment of cleaner fish or cleaner invertebrates. So you'll get 25 uh, dwarf red tip hermits and then you get five margarita or Mexican turbo snails and you get five cerite snails. So you just looking for anything specific or just anything that's going to do the job? Well, yeah, something that's going to clean that, that her algae and, you know, what other kind of algae. And that'd be the thing, like, each one of these eat, may eat different kind of algae. Like the the green emerald crab, he may eat the bubble algae. You know, the snails, they on the, the her algae. Same as the hermits. And, you know, some of them going to clean the rocks to get in between the crevices. And, of course, the snails, they all on the wall. So, you know, they just, they all got a different, a different part. Mm-hmm. Peppermint shrimp, he gonna, you know, do his thing. So that's why I just need like a assortment. See, some of them eat diatoms, some of them eat film algae, some of them eat hair algae. But then you got to make sure you, if you got coral, you got to make sure uh, that they not eating on your coral. <laughs> Right, that, that, that crab went once he been and ate all the bubble algae and stuff. If he don't see no more of that, then he'll go to your coral. So I I had one. He started eating my zoas, and I was start noticing that spots where the zoas was at, they wasn't there no more. It was, it was mm-hmm. bald. I was like, where the hell my my coral go? <laughs> <laughs> and I caught him. Hey, Yo, chomping on one day, man. Caught his ass one day in, in the act. I say, yeah. I, I had to put him in the in, in the back. I had to put him in the sump. So yeah, though, man. Put his ass in jail, huh? Yeah, dog. Yeah, had it. See, they had one of these at Petco earlier. Rass. Yeah, but 
that mug probably wasn't that mug. That mug went longer than uh than your finger. It was probably like only a, a, a inch and a half, maybe. And that's what I was gonna ask you. So, what you think about that? Like, you know, you you rather get fish while they're small and then watch them, you know, grow, or you like your fish already big? It it depends, bro. It depends on what what tank I'm putting them in. Yeah. Like the lowest I go on inches, bro, is probably three inches. Cause if I order, okay. okay, okay. Is that because a lot of your fish are already big, or that's just the size you prefer? Because my fish, uh, most of my fish are almost three inches and up. Yeah. Yeah, so the smallest the smallest one that I got right now is uh in my house right now. So is, is that how you sell them too, or like you sell them three inches and I sell them three inches and up, three inches and up. Okay. Yeah, whatever size they want, for real, for real. All right, all right. So is it better to sell fish though, like as they're a little older, kind of like puppies or? A lot of people like to get them small and grow them out themselves. You feel me? Mm, okay. So, I think the smaller ones sell quicker than, you know what I'm saying, a bigger fish. But once again, I'm pretty sure a bigger fish is higher priced than a smaller fish, though, right? Yeah. That's what I would think, too. But from what the hell Petco was saying is, They'll sell you a fish if it if it's eight inches or if it's one and a half inches, it's the same price. I don't think dude knew what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I don't I don't think he knew what he was talking about, bro. He was setting himself up to lose. I said, bro, because I really could have went down through there and then just got like a big, you know, big old fish and be like, well, shit, you said it's twelve ninety nine still, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I wasn't finna sit there and argue with Buddy, though. But that definitely didn't make any sense to me, though. And then you say, well, it's going to fall un- under the category of a assorted peacock. And it's a goddamn Kenya cichlid. You know how they just have all the cichlids in the in the tank together. Mm-hmm. It's like he could have just told me it was an Oscar that are we just gonna it's it's fall under assorted peacocks. Like that's, that's not how it works, bro. Sell me the fish for what it is. Exactly. It's not the customer like I- fault that, that you haven't made a tag for it yet, you know? So now I'm supposed to pay over the price. For some something that you ain't made a tag for. Yeah, I done had to dispute some shit a few times, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Ah, for real, man. And they end up yeah, being man, the loser. I'm over here behind on the chat, man. Got down me, George, and slid back through on me. What's happening, George? Sonny G said, bye. He said nothing much, just lurking and chilling. I see you, George. We see you, man. Go on and come up here, man. Drop some knowledge on us or some of them jokes or something, man. Mm-hmm. I have a few, a few Oscars from the West Spot. Okay. So I'm more uh, buy now, figure it out as it go kind of person. <laughs> no, nah, Jeff, I ain't like, <laughs> I ain't did that, bro. He said, oh, the, oh, the West Spot just up the road from me. Oh, that's what's up, George. Hey, man, you'll be surprised, bro. There's it's, it's a lot of people out here about old fish, bro, and get them home and treat them themselves, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, true. I thought about that, too, man. But like I say, I got to think about rearranging other fish to now put these fish in to treat the, you know what I'm saying? Because I just had to separate these cichlids that's been fighting. They still fighting. I'm finna have to do something with another one of them. So they just tripped. How, how many? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. It's probably like six of them. But we got the one that think he the king of the tank. 
And I don't know what the other one problem is. I guess they just going after them because he going out though. But it's like they got voted off the island or something, bro. Because <laughs> everybody was oh. cool at first. Everybody was cool at first, but now they don't want them in the tank. No, so I fish a gang up on the weakest one. Man, have them in a was. corner somewhere. Man, that's how this fish been for a few days. Ever since I took the other one out, now they ganging up on him. So I probably just drop him in the pond outside. Or well, you yeah. might just need to you might just need to add some more. Add some more. You know? Yeah. You, might, you might be right. I seen <laughs> You know how they be having them. They be having them big old cichlids. They they be like down to thirty dollars or something. Them must be already big. I was like, I'm gonna buy one of them, drop them in there. <laughs> Maybe that'll equal out the aggression. Cause you know, I drop a fish in there that's bigger than the king. Then maybe he'll chill out, and everybody else will chill out. Yeah, soften up a little bit. Yeah, cause that's what it is. I think he amped he amped the other fish up. But uh, my buddy say uh, West Spy carries the Dino Twin Weenie or Gold Ring Dino Danios. Yeah, I got some uh, long fan zebra Danios. Them was pretty cool. George said three hours away. Said, yeah, bro, it take me a long time to buy some, especially online, cause I be researching it for days, weeks, maybe even months. It just depends on what it is. Before I actually make that purchase, because I really be, you know, especially something electronic, I look at all the specs. What is it? Another, you know, um, product out there that's competing with it. I look at all of that, bro. So it kind of take me a minute to just make that purchase. Yeah, you got to go through all the stats. Yeah, that's me. I see how they how they measure up to each each other. Said live Aquaria was the nicest about screwing up an order. <laughs> Let me say, I'm getting burnt out tonight. Uh, all right, for sure, J-Rock. I know you already probably uh, left out, man. Appreciate you for coming through, though. All right, Jake. Three hours away. I will be driving. I would be driving also, George. Yeah, for sure. Later, later. Good night. Try getting down to the bottom. Bristle nose eat algae. Cleaned up my 250. I can't wait till I get a tank that's 250 gallons. Lost a few fish last week. Sad. Yeah, yeah. That's always sad, man. Big fish. Big fish can be an old fish. Yeah, true that, true that, Jeff. Yeah, that's why some a lot of people like to get their small and grow them out. I don't think people realize that an old fish just may not breed anymore, you know? Like it probably just reached its limit. You wondering why your fish not spawning, but it probably just got old. I don't. I didn't like bristle nose until I got some in a spawn. Yeah, I know that was cool. I got a lot of Corey, you know. Yeah, I like the this albino Corey I got. Man, it's active. Like he stay moving, stay eating. Them other two lazy suckers. I don't know what's up with them. I don't never <laughs> see them. <bro. laughs> I don't never see them. Uh, even when I put some food in there, they they don't even come out. I don't know what's up. Sunny those your co- those your cores you talking about? Yeah, the uh the Cinnadonis. Oh, the catfish. Yeah, upside down. Man, I'm uh, I'll never see them suckers, bro. Not saving any eggs. I think I read just Sunny Jim, I'm, I'm still not sure I like them, but they are one of my bread and butter fish. Yeah, Jeff, you better quit talking about doing fish. They making you money, man. Yeah, remember me on the high fans. 
What is on the screen? <laughs> That's a uh, a sea slug. It's a like a sea hair. Them will be eating uh, hair algae. I'm over here reading y'all comments. So I I wasn't able to change it. Say, so, oh goody, got some rehomed. Be right back for sure. Yeah, Jeff, don't blame him. 2.53 a.m. I'm going to the cool side of the pillow. Good listening. Great day. Misbehave later, everyone. Everybody be safe. Appreciate it, DJ Guppy. Appreciate you for coming through, man. Yeah, we, it's the night crew, man. We be up pretty late over here. But yeah, bro, this a this a sea slug, a sea hair man. He he be eating hair algae and stuff. Uh, dang, so that mug can grow to a foot long. Only thing about stuff like this, when you put it in your tank, then it it could really, if it die or something like that, spit out some stuff, then it could really let some nasty stuff in your tank. So anything like them. Them uh Q like a sea cucumber or something like that. They look cool, but if you put them mugs in your tank and they they let out that toxic stuff, it's gonna nuke the whole tank. It's over with, over with. So you you gotta be careful with those. Man, I really hate to hear though that live aquarium. And then went down, man, because they got some nice selections and good prices. What you mean went down as in quality? Well, that's, that's just, you know, like it, all the people reviews tonight on them, they've been bad. I don't think I heard not one good thing they said about them. You know, I think they said they used West to be Spot good. Got the best. West Spot got the best reviews. From but they ain't got no salt water though. Damn, so don't. That's what I'm looking for. I'm look. Imperial, they don't got salt water either, huh? Nah, I didn't see any. And see, when I go to the website, I don't even look for salt water. Jeff say it is my turn for it now. Have a good night, everyone. I right, Jeff. See you, man, tomorrow or something, man. Hold it down, man. Hold it down. Hey, what's happening? Look who just slid in. Slid in for the win. Collapse. You just saw her kicking some flavor. But yeah, though, bro, uh, I definitely, bro, so I just got home from work. Damn, this, oh, it's early over there, I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to say this late. Basically, bro, if you want to, if you want to order, bro, and you, and you want the quality fish and you want it to come in right, I go with West File or Imperial, bro, but. You looking for salt, so I don't know. Yeah, do Imperial? They got plants. Or the yeah, they got plants. They got all right. So I'm gonna check them out on that then. And aquatic arts, they got plants too. Yeah, that's what I need to look at. Aquatic. What's it called? They was out of a lot of stuff. Uh, KGE. Yeah, I know I'm going to that, uh, to that website. KGE. He got a nice website, though. I'm going to check he them out said, once I get off the hill. Before I go, here's a link for you. Live Aquarium. Uh, hit the book on live stream. Okay, okay, for sure. Appreciate that, Joe. He said, I had to work out there because my lunch cover decided he was <laughs> a him sick. Uh, 
He didn't want to do as I asked him to do. Glad the manager called me to make sure I was okay. Dang. I still did over 2,300 in sales on my own. Screw that for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need them. Did your own thing. Screw them. Screw them. One monkey don't stop no show. At all. Okay, okay. Aquatic art. Where, where you find aquatic art set? Just scrolling through the web. Well, you order something from them before? Nah, I never ordered from them. Yeah. But I done been on their website. Nah, I'm on it right now. I'm pretty sure y'all can see it. They got some good looking plants, though. Uh oh, I see they got some, some sales, too. Shit, I always love them sales. They should have a bundle. Man, them in Petco, bro, the other day, they had some goddamn some, some glowfish quarries. Quarry cats. Never seen those. Never, bro. I said, what the hell? They starting to glow everything now. Yeah. They need to have glow, glow jack dimpses in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Damn glow red devils. Bro, they was tripping. That mother was like a highlighter. Yeah, that mother was like a highlighter. They don't have glow bristle noses. It looked just like these mud. It looked like this smudge. It looked like this, but it was neon green, though. Hmm. Yeah, they tripped out. Damn, they want eighty three dollars for this moment. Oh, for it's one to six. Nah, for six. Oh, okay. But if you got six, you got nine, and you got twelve, then you could sell me a school of three. But it says out of stock on the three. What sense does that make? Oh, I say on them cords, bro. It's better to go six and up. Yeah, but I'm saying though, if they got six in stock, nine in stock, and twelve in stock, then you can sell the three up. Yeah, you right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you right. How is the three out of stock? It might throw their count off. Type shit. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. That's something I ain't never owned either is a loach. I, I like those hill stream loaches. Yeah. Only loach I ever had was a uh what that loach is, man. Oh, it was Jeff got some whip tails. A dojo loach. That's what it was. Yeah. So they got a striped coolie loach. Aquatic arts. Okay, okay. I got some shit. Man, I remember my head bought a guppy like this. He had a cool pattern on him. A green, green cobra. Yeah, but it wasn't a green cobra. It was just a regular. But he had like some patterns on them like that though. Uh -huh. But what I what I found out though, these bugs be uh they mix with a with an antler. An antler, yeah. You can tell by uh the tail fin. Yeah. So that mug not like a it's not like a I guess a, I don't know what the hell a true guppy is, but it's not like a, a full bloody guppy. That mother Endler too. So that's why he got the patterns and shit on him. What is that, Jack Dempsey? In the middle? Yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what that fish look like they were eating in the damn, uh, 
that Corey door early. And they were gonna die if he got it down. Trip. This is what I can't get with. I can't get with. Mm mm. Well, the rainbow fish. Man, hell. <laughs> yeah, they do look funny, bro. <laughs> and that ain't even the, the worst part. Them mugs look way more funny when they get older. When they get bigger. Yeah. See if they got a rainbow sickly. Rainbow sickly. I put Aimbo. <laughs> Aimbo. Aimbo. Mm-mm. They ain't got it. Nah. Damn, boy. The only place I seen he had there was Imperial Tropical. And I think I, I got the last one. Right. This was a minute ago, though. What the mother look? Is it right here? Yeah. See, that's uh, that's the fish I got uh in the great debate with the manager at the little fish store that I go to. Man, was trying to sell it to me as a a, a green terror, bro. When that bitch clearly don't look like a green terror. Oh, dang, terrible. Yeah, that motherfucker was trying to argue me up and down that this fish that's on this screen oh, right now, man. right, bro? Yeah, man. Just... I want to say no comparison. And no comparison at all, bro. I didn't even bother to try to pull it up on my phone, bro. <laughs> That's what I be loving though when they be wrong and then you end up getting the better price. Right. You know? Which one is um more rare? More rare? Yeah, like which one is not seen that, that most often? Uh I say the rainbow. The rainbow, so a lot of people yeah, have the rainbow stickler. Yeah, they they I see a lot of uh green terrors, but I don't see too many rainbow secrets. Hey, what's how I'm humble, man. Appreciate you for subscribing, man. Like when I when I ordered that one, I should have I should have got all of them. <laughs> She's a aquatic arts. Haley works at aquatic arts. She's a badass. Okay. I think she still works there. Say then you then you looking for green quarries? Nah, I'm not. Haven't seen her around in a few. Can I grab the link? Or is it no girls allowed today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we're trying to sell it as a green terror. And hey, and, and the killer part about it. They had green terrors in the tank with the fish, bro. None booth the coming so, fish. No, said none booth or coming fish. Nothing rare. Okay, okay. I guess he's saying they both coming fish and they neither rare. Yeah, I'll guess I'll, this fish. I, I guess I was just asking which, which one is not seen the most. What'd you say though? At this fish though, what? Yeah, at this fish though, bro. I didn't. I don't. I don't never hey, see guys. rainbow fish. Okay. Hey, what's up? Oh. What's I'm happening? Bait, man, it's been a long day. Oh, <laughs> bro, tell me about it. Oh yeah, it is daytime over there, huh? Yeah, it's uh, quarter past five in the afternoon now. 
I finished uh, I, work about an hour ago. Uh, yeah. Man, it got down to 2 13 in the morning over here. I can't believe they're trying to sell that fish as a green terror. Right. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you can clearly see the difference. Yeah, I don't, Look, I don't even much. know my cichlids that well, but I know that's not a green terror. Yeah. I, no, I, like I say, personally, I would have been petty enough to pull it up, even just Google it, and just show I, him that it is not a green terror. After the purchase, though, no, <laughs> I would have purchased it and then showed him. <laughs> Bruh, I was get I was getting so frustrated. I didn't even think about pulling this shit up on yeah. my phone, bro. Yeah, that's fair you know, enough. You end up buying the fish though, anyways. Man, I left that bitch, man. You left. <laughs> I, I, that's how he, that's how heated I was, bro. I ran you that hot, bro. Man, bro. <laughs> the conversation, the conversation didn't get heated like that, but on the inside, I like, man, yeah. fuck you and this fish. Oh, okay, okay. I feel <laughs> That you kind of felt like I felt when he was trying to sell me that little ass cichlid for twelve ninety nine, and I said, you know what, bro, I ain't even gonna buy it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and I was gonna buy. I I wanted to buy all three of them ones because it was three of them. So you know, I was gonna take my chances to make sure what at least I got one female out of it. You know. Yeah. But shit, after he got the. Talking goofy, I said, "Man, I ain't buying nothing from her." We put the hamster stuff back too. We was gonna buy some hamster uh little toys and stuff because my son got hey. a hamster. Oh, yeah. Did you go to a different store though? No, I was already late. The store I wanted to go to had closed at seven, anyways. But Petco down here don't close until nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's hey, so bro. different. But, that's what like I, everything my, here closes at like five o'clock. Yeah, my bad, uh, animal. But nah, see, the, Sorry, like we animal. was talking about the COVID er earlier. That's what messed it up because they started closing earlier during COVID, and they just stuck with those times. So now they just all yeah, close early. That's crazy. Like they, they were staying the, open. They kept the protocol. Yeah, like bro. over here, we ended up. We had weird hours as well because of COVID. Um, and then was it early last year? I think it was January last year. Our regional said, okay, you know, we're, we're changing everyone's hours. They took hours away from my store, but they gave hours to a different store. And they tried to say it was because of the averages of what we were selling, you know, on any given day, like our daily sales. Yeah. Um, which is absolute BS. It's silly. Um, now we we open later and we close later. Man, that's crazy. Ooh, that's cool. I, I bet you they didn't change our pay though. Um, that's gone up a couple of times in the last couple of years. Yeah, man. Yeah, the, uh, it's good. Like it's an industry that, huh? standard thing. You have to ask them. To go up on your pay, like if you don't never oh, really? say nothing about it, yeah, yeah. If you don't never say nothing about it, they ain't gonna say nothing about it. So over here, at least for me, because I work in retail, we we are under something called GRIA, just something like a general retail industry agreement or something. So yeah. um, basically, the retailers are. You know, by law, they have to pay us, you know, a minimum wage. Yeah. Um, and it's there's different levels as well. So, like, depending on your age, what sort of work you like, which kind of job you have, whether you're just a sales assistant or a, you know, um, assistant manager or a manager or whatever. Um, and it's all, you know, set. You know, um. For example, I get paid twenty four dollars and three cents an hour during the week, and then I get like thirty bucks on the weekends. Shit. Yeah. At a retail store. Yeah. Public oh, holiday gosh. pay is where it's at, though, man. Like, um, so my next public holiday is going to be the uh one of the Easter ones. 
I'm going to probably get like 50 something dollars an hour for a six and a half hour day. I see why you're getting donations for everybody else. You good. Is that for the fish store? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, like all of the stores and stuff here are like that. Damn. See, they getting paid 12 or something here. Yeah, the only ones that don't sort of go, you know, there are some retailers, smaller retailers that will kind of try and rip off their workers, but they're they're pretty quickly taken care of. You be lucky, you get ten fifty. You gonna have, you gonna have to. <laughs> well, I think it work. works out to be like the average pay is like thirteen bucks an hour or something over there. Yeah. If I got nah, it right. Nah, the minimum wage over here is like eight twenty five or some shit. Yeah, but does it depend on what sort of job you do? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you still have like industry minimum standard. Man, they really go based off the person, like your oh, work wow. experience. Yeah. Wow. If you're not really Paid that experienced, you you gonna get less than somebody that didn't have five years of experience. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's some. That's at, you know some jobs, but. You got to really know what you worth, though. You can't just go in there and take, you know, what they offer. Yeah, well, that's be, fair. Uh, hey, I'm, I get that, too. Because they'll just try to get you anything to save, you know, money. Well, this is a good point. <laughs> hey, where they... You said the uh, Imperial Tropics got some plants. Where they like plants at, man? Should be in the uh a menu. I see aquarium animal sales, special collections, other merch, live shipping info, and policy. So in the drop down menu there doesn't have like oh, I like that plants trophy. or anything <laughs> nah, on the side there. You know they say African cichlid, catfish, and then it's say oh, other okay. fish. And then when I drop down to other fishes, bicher, brackish, oh, wow. eels, gobies, loaches, puffers, and miscellaneous other fish. That boy got a frog on him. Oh, <laughs> they are so cute, but they're the weirdest looking frogs I've ever seen in my life. What do they do for your tank, though? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> and they'd Man. eat your fish. Ah, uh, yeah, he just came my number one least favorite. Yeah, but they they don't get big enough to eat your each your, your your big fish like you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just the small they stuff might... like guppies and sh- yeah. And then and they baby, got a nerve, baby guppies or something. Then they got a nerve enough to be sold out. Like who the hell is oh. buying all the African door frogs? They are pretty cute. Some people put them in their beta tank. Patron oh, yeah, I've seen oh, that. Yeah, 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 i seen the beta. Fish. I thought you were going to say controller guppies or something. I kind of like these mugs. They look cool fish. The peacock gudgeons, they're nice. Yeah. But no, nah, I, I still ain't seen no plants, though, my man. Hmm. They should be. No, oh, let, me ch- let me check. Maybe you... Just see. go oh, into the search bar and go uh, plants. Yeah, nice no, on the. Oh, uh, look other, at that! Aquatic it's on the other merch. <laughs> you got it on the other merch. Like what the hell? Oh. But yeah, cool. I'd have plants as a as a as its own category. Yeah, uh, that's what I would think. Yeah, man. Because I was thinking I seen plants and not mm-hmm. other merch. You feel me? Well, no, it's like Ooh, other merch. Yeah, you know, on the other merch, it says aquatic plants, fish food, accessories, and merch. And merch. Okay, so you doing your on a computer? I I be looking off my phone, so it'd be like a different setup. Oh, okay, okay, it's, it's different. Yeah, the manubius. I be liking the manubius. Oh, baby tears. Ooh, crinums. Banana plants. I was looking I at like, uh, K- KGE. They he had some nice selections. 
I like them banana plants. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. Banana plant? Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. It looks like a lily. Yeah, it do. It do look like a lily. And it look like it got little green bananas at the bottom. Oh, sure. oh okay. That's really, <laughs> really interesting. That's funny. Wow. Brazilian pennywort. Yeah, I like that too, bro. Uh -huh. They be having some nice, nice looking Craig plants. Craig said man. he had them. <laughs> Don't borrow the bananas. <laughs> Let me go to the uh the chat, man. My bad. I'm looking at the at these websites. In, in, in every pet shop in Australia. What's that, Craig? He says since COVID, my boss closed Tuesdays and Thursdays at the local fish store. Wow, oh, that sucks. Plants and decorations. Is it usually Oh yeah, still looking for plants. Yeah. And the door frogs are too small to eat fish, usually baby guppies. Oh, there. the banana plants. Okay. I've never seen them before. That's so cool. Yeah, them are there. Don't borrow the bananas. <laughs> 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 They're in every pet shop in Australia. Well, they can't be because I've never seen them before. <laughs> yeah, she ain't never seen them, man. So they not that common. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong stores. <laughs> yeah, I want to give me some color, some like color to my plants. Yeah, some of them bring out some of them reds, like burning these red some tiger red. lotus. Get That's you, so yeah. pretty. Get you some little wiggy. Yeah, yeah. Three G yeah. has these tiger lotus. I like these too. Got them red veins in the plants. I might have to go get oh, some yeah. of them lotuses. I know this be good for some fry, huh? They're really yeah. good, but apparently you need to like trim off like when they start sending the shooters to the surface. You just trim them off so it stays nice and bushy in the water. It's on my lotus. Yeah, the the red lotus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this dark red. What'd you say, Luigia? Yeah. Yeah, that boy look cool too. I was looking at a, uh, one of the mangroves earlier. You ever seen one of them? The mangrove plants? Yeah. You gonna, you gonna put it in the salt? Yeah. But I think the must start off fresh, huh? I know a dude said he grow, uh, he grow mangroves out of his fresh tank. I didn't, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I ain't mistaken, the must, uh, Ah, uh, see, it say a mangrove is a shrub of a tree that grows mainly in the coastal saline of brackish water. So that's probably why you could grow the mugs and fresh and then eventually to the salt. This man said he is doing good and straight, straight fresh. So I asked him, I said... I said, damn, I ain't, I ain't know you could grow them in, in, in straight fresh. I don't he know if doing good maybe too. in brackish. No, if I'm mistaken, this dude uh, on YouTube named Inappropriate Reefer, he got like reef tanks. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but he got a, damn, I tripped out. But he got a, uh, he got a mangrove in a saltwater tank. <laughs> well, one time he showed some oh, mangroves, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he had uh man, some mangroves in a bucket, in five gallon buckets that he was growing out, and I think he had those in fresh water. Oh, okay. Some mangroves do better in fresh water and brackish. Okay. Mm hmm. So I think you grow me interesting. Away. Could be worth a shot anyway. Hey, bro, see if they still got those, uh, those, um, yellow banded Acaras. I think they had like 
Uh, and you still on Imperial? Let me see. Are you? I'll go back to him. You say Yellow Man of the Chorus? Yeah. Last time I looked, they had four lifts. If they still there, I'm going to get them. I'm going to order those boys tonight. Well, they got the two to three inch, and they got the three to four inch, and the four to five yeah, inch. Yeah, th look at the three to four inch. What you, <laughs> Sorry, you keep you myself out of Woo. It's a uh, mangroves work great. Some mangroves doing better in fresh Do water. Better in right? fresh water. Yeah, that so is that's a what pretty I was saying. looking fish. Old boy said he was thriving in his fresh water. Yeah. So you, oh, have okay. to, you have to spray them less frequently with water to rinse off salt. Okay, okay. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm guessing the salt is uh, abrasive to the leaves or whatnot. Well, it, it would um, starve the plant of oxygen. Right. Because they'd take in their oxygen with their leaves. But, them, uh, but salt to like some, some freshwater plants would kill them, though. Oh, yeah. That's wild. Or like you drop uh -huh. salt water, on, salt water on plants that's in the soil, the mugs will die. But that mug is able to be in salt water or fresh water. That's a bad plant. That's a bad plant, man. But yeah, though, no, man, they got some yellow band of the cars, dog. Right? See, uh, see how many three or three to four inches they got left. Uh, it's only one. Oh, three, three to four. Four. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm about to go ahead and order those boys. All right. <laughs> let me go. Let me go and add them to my cart. <laughs> no. <I'm laughs> hey. I'll, I already got five, man. I might as well go ahead and get the, the last four. That'll be a straight hater move. You know you want to get them. Uh, like, yeah, I'm gonna have them <laughs> Shit, hey, if you if you want them, bro. Man, I got I no problems with the sickness I got. <laughs> Shit, they fighting and stuff. I need to find somebody to add in there for real, though. Oh, how's that fish doing? Is he still? Yeah, I know you, cool. you pulled him out because he was all shredded up. Nah, he cool. I mean, he didn't came from behind the sponge fields, so he be out now. So he glad oh. he ain't. I know he glad he ain't in there with that ass no more. <laughs> if I drop somebody else in there with him, he gonna be like, "Oh hell, nah!" <laughs> <laughs> I just got away from them dudes. But nah, he he been chilling though, man. I dropped him some food oh, in there. So I see him swimming around and stuff. So oh, I'm that's drop good. Yeah, I'm going to drop a couple of them outside, though, in the pond. I've just been trying to see what the weather going to do because it's been so up and down. It's been cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. So. Same here, bro. Yeah, all all in one day. Like, it's supposed to be 38 in the morning. Well, yeah, That's wicked. That's, that's wicked. That's not too long from now. It's already morning here. But that's wicked, though. Then by 11 o'clock come, it's about... 58. Damn, damn near 80. <laughs> I mean, like yeah, 80. <laughs> about yeah. 60. So we're going the other way around at the moment. It's been like, you know, mid 80s, low 90s. And then all of a sudden now, just the last few days, at least for me, it started to drop down to, you know, 70s. Yeah, man, it, that's how you get sick, bro. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's how I can tell it's going to storm, bro, because here either it's going to be warm the day before or it's gonna be cold the day before and the next day is storm like hell yeah we did just get some rain but them ones ought to be good because i i don't have a heater on the sickly tank so with them being outside he ought to be straight he used to the cold water but then again it ain't like it's super cold in the house either so right 
Ooh, electric blue takes a sick room. Yeah, like so. Was, hell, it is to me, bro. I'm talking about the fish touch. But y'all like these, the humps on the fish? I just like the electric blue. <laughs> I'm a y'all girl. Like, I like the like color. The <laughs> I'm talking about like the humps. You know how they have the big humps. Oh, yeah. The, the, the Coke. Yeah. yeah. yeah That's I like why them. I like flower horns like that. Yeah, no, nah, I like them. Too. I like some of them. I don't like all of them. I, uh, yeah. Some of this them with look. those really big cokes on their head and they can hardly see. I feel really bad for them. This what y'all see this fish right here? The OB. Yeah. They tried to sell me. Let me show you. Y'all finna laugh like a motherfucker. <laughs> They tried to sell me one of these motherfuckers for that. What is that? This is a Kenya. The, the blue one. The blue one, yeah. They tried to sell me this little this little blue one right here. <laughs> they tried to sell me this one right here, man. For a goddamn wow. OB peacock. That's hilarious. Oh, and, and then it was probably about this small too, and they wanted to charge me twelve ninety nine for that motherfucker. Hey, if they came, if they came in assorted, assorted uh, African cichlids, then I can see that though. You know, yeah, but they must say assorted peacock. Oh, okay. <laughs> it didn't wow. say assorted cichlid. It was assorted peacocks. Specifically, say a peacock. Yeah, specifically, yeah, specifically, bro. So it. That's you know, so yeah, they crazy as hell. Like nah, bro. <laughs> You finna try try me because really this this fish ain't even twelve ninety nine by itself. Oh, Kramer was... says he'd like that Texas cichlid in red. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait till my red Texas get get bigger. I'm ready to see what he gonna he gonna turn into. See this? he or she <laughs> or whatever it is. Are you gonna have a gender reveal? <laughs> 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 nah, for real though. See, this is one place right here. They said at least my eight ninety nine at two inches. This my eighteen ninety nine at three inches. You see how the price went up as the inches yeah. went up? Because so one inch difference is goddamn crazy. Man. Ten dollars. That's wicked, bro. These fish cool. Yes. Hey, now. This the fish, though, that they beating up on. Oh, wow. This oblique hat. Oh, the oblique one. Yeah, man. This the fish that they beat up on. They didn't kick them off the island. And then the other the fish. Poor it, it's a, <laughs> the <poor> fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like bro, it off. <laughs> yeah, they've been good this whole. What he been in there at least about eight months. The whole eight months they've been. You know, all right, you stay on your side, I stay on my side. Now it's like, bro, I want you out of here. They're trying to make him shake the spot. Then made him shake it, bro. They was making noise over there, like I was on live with a skipper and. <laughs> In uh, New Local Austin, and I had to like really shut it down to go see what was going on. Cause all I kept hearing was splash, splash. splash. Crazy! Wow, they were they going was, at it. They was over there fighting, man. And they still doing the other. It's a, it's some type of peacock. He all orange with a little bit of black. And that's the one they after now. But I looked at all their fins. They all been in there fighting. I don't know if the other fish fighting back oh, or they okay. fighting each other too. So, it's not hey, good, man. hey, y'all. I'm about What's to hop it? off, man. Do your thing, G. Appreciate you for coming up, dog. You going up tomorrow? I mean, well, later on today? Shit, yeah. I, ain't, I got uh, some, some catching up to do. I ain't going yesterday. So, yeah, I see. 
Slide uh, hit, Myra, Myra for the for the car club. Hit me up on Insta main and let me know. Nah, for sure. I got you, dog. For real. I'm gonna let uh, you, know. I, you gotta work, you gotta work tomorrow or later on today. I do, but I don't know if I'm going. All so. right, man. Like you're gonna have to start selling fish more or something. Hey man, when, when them taxes hit. <laughs> you know how that go. <laughs> See, you know how that go. Like a brother. <laughs> I can no, af- I, I can you. afford I can afford to miss a couple of days, dog. Nah, 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 nah. I got you. I got you. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the All right, weekend bro. too. Ah, but know, yeah, sure I I holla at y'all, man. All right, man. Sure, you have a good one, bro. Have a good All one, right, bro. All right, All right good sure. night. <laughs> for sure. Good, good, good morning. Good, good morning, good night, <laughs> all that good stuff. We for sure, man. I right, know. All right. Yo. But yeah, though, I, I ain't understand them trying to sell me that fish for that fish. I was That's funny. I was upset with them. But <laughs> it's I, crazy. I said forget it, man. I just try, I just try my luck online, you know. Like, is this a you know an established like long running store? Like, is it, it a mom and cold. pop type store? Oh, that explains everything. But it it, <laughs> it was it was six months like newly built, you know. Maybe yeah. Six to eight months. See, that's the problem. They've just shoved people in there that have no idea about fish and what they are. And that's what I was saying. Like the dude that was in there, I had went over to him because he was filling up the the snake water bowls and spider water bowls. And I was like, "Hey man, yeah. you know who over here on the fish?" And he was like, "That'll be me." And I was like, "Damn, you doing everything? <laughs> oh, you got no. you got the snakes, the birds, the the hamsters, and the fish." So, you know, it's one of them things where they just burn people out, and then they not really working yeah. to the best of their ability. You know. You can only do yeah, so very much, true. and then you have to um, you have to help customers also in between. Your duties, I get so it. it. It's a lot. There was only, so much you know? stuff I didn't get done today because I was too busy serving customers. That's exactly <laughs> what I said earlier. Is some is something that's not going to get did. I basically I made it. I made sure that at least the front of the store was tidy. Um. But I unboxed a heap of stock today. Like we've got, we've got Mother's Day coming up in like two months, and we're oh. starting to get all of our winter stock coming in. So we're winter. we're in the middle of like the change of the season. Yeah, man, girls. Like so I still made over twenty three hundred just on my own today, so I'm happy with that. I know the manager will be. Most yeah. fish stores in your area have a big staff turnover, yeah. Bro, I always, they wonder why they have a big turnover. That's because they don't treat their employees like nothing. Bro. Right. Homer said, I only Although, got four sickness in my 300-gallon marine tank, and two of them are troublemakers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more fish in, in there, or you just got the sickness? But I would like to take the sickness red. I'm not allowed by my boss to sell any animals. <laughs> Yo, most fish stores in our area have a big staff turnover. Bro, that, it's like I was saying, they don't treat their employees like nothing. And then you really don't train them. So they have the knowledge to know what the hobbyists know when they come in to even answer questions. Like, my guy gave me some, bu- some bullshit ass answer. Like, we sell all here at Petco. We sell all our fish at the same price, no matter the size. Like, what sense wow. does that make? Like, how are you making? You no, know, I, I know how you making money, but you also losing money too. Yeah, absolutely. If you selling a, a a blood parrot that's five inches for the same price that's two and a half, then you losing. Yeah. So I, I'm not really sure if he didn't know what he was talking about or. Is there really I've, a have, I've overheard so many like um, pet store employees and you know um, 
just sowing so much information to their customers in order to make a sale. Come on, man. I wouldn't. They talk out their butt to these customers like, oh, yeah, five goldfish will be great in a 10 gallon tank. Knowing that, well, no, bro, are them. you kidding me? And he'll walk off, you know, to go and grab something. <laughs> I'll turn around to the customer and go, Look, I'm sorry, what he's told you is wrong. Here's the Google fact because I'll be standing off Googling it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I'll walk up to the customer and correct the employee. They give and them so, so you know. <laughs> and the customer wonder why they tank stay cloudy, why they never, you know, <laughs> yeah, their fish die, <laughs> they fish die. Oh, man. I had one lady who'd bought, like, half a dozen fish and put them in a tank my size. Yeah. Um, half a dozen or so or something. It's like, oh, yeah, it was great for the first week, and then they all died. <laughs> but, oh, how long have you been running your tank for? Oh, about a week. Have you used established media in it? To, you know, have you have you squeezed in an old filter to make sure all of the beneficial bacteria is in it? And she looked at me like I had three heads and walked away. Nothing. <laughs> like I know they got the fishless cycle, and then they got you know people add them. The fish. She in. was buying like these expensive freaking fish. Tripping. But lady, are you for real? <laughs> But maybe she just start, like maybe she was just starting bucks. off. Maybe she was just starting off because you know, I know <laughs> oh when, when I first hopped in, in the hobby, I wanted to get some cichlids, but they was like, you can't put cichlids with the goldfish. And, you know, yeah. when I started learning, well, this certain communities can't go with you know others. So you know, yeah, when you true. first start off, you when you first start off, you be learning. Yeah. But like you say, they'll just sell you anything to. to right. Yeah. He said they're making, making money. money. They, they pay, pay peanuts, peanuts for the fish in bulk. Yep. Exactly. Like since you're right, I seen that list that uh buddy was talking about. So say on some fish like like these. Oh, bars. there's um, Homer's written all, all the fish that he's got in that tank. Okay. Uh, like I'll eat these cherry barbs, say they two ninety nine from here. Well, they probably only oh, got them for twenty six cent. Like literally, yeah. They, they may bought them in bulk, so they, they see got over them. here they're like seven or eight dollars each. Oh, that's crazy. Sometimes some places will have a deal on you know whichever, usually tetras or um the guppies or something, and they'll put them at like you know. Half a dozen for twenty bucks or something. Uh, okay, okay. No, I seen that list. That dude, uh, Fish Story or something like that. Yeah. He he had made a um a video showing like the price listing and stuff. And oh, was, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, and it was crazy. They paying little to nothing for these fish, bro. Alex is the man. Like, he is the encyclopedia of fish keeping. Man, that's what's up. Glad he got his channel back. He said 15 silver three triggers, one self-end tank, two engineer gobies, three high heads, one emperor, angels, one panther grouper, one cleaner ras. All right, bro, that's a nice selection. And the cichlids. How you got the sick? You got the cichlids with some saltwater fish, <laughs> or they're separate? I know we was talking about what your kind of cichlids have you got? <laughs> I'm cu- I'm confused. Yeah, because I know you, you didn't have them in salt water. Mm, not that I know of. I I don't know no cichlids that could go in a marine tank because that's what got me too. He said a marine tank. I'm so confused. So damsels. Yeah. Damsels are. Oh, cichlids. damsels are cichlids. Hmm. The damsels are salt water. Yeah, I got a damsel, but I didn't know damsels was considered cichlids, though. That's something good to know. 
did you have to like acclimate it to salt water or is it no nah, damsels are already saltwater fish they salt water. They have, yeah they have chromis and all kind of different damsels i have a damsel a liar tail damsel and and he's a punk uh -huh. man it's yeah, a reef I, bass oh okay i tried to that give him a, i tried to give him an opportunity and put him in with the community and he just yeah. bro he he messed up the whole tank he kicked sand oh. everywhere he made my mushroom yeah. shrivel up <laughs> i bro so I, I caught him and put him back in in the tank by itself He says, Time out, baby. Yeah, I got another. I got a basslet too. It's something like a reef bass. Usually blue and yellow. Oh, now it's coming to me. Or just blue, yeah. Oh, I know which fish you're talking about now. Yeah, they're not bad. They're nice fish. And that's what, 300 gallon? Let me see. This is a basslet too, but this is a different kind of basslet. They got different varieties. Let me see. Oh, look at that color. Oh, my God. That is a bright fish. How cool is that? <laughs> I will say my LFS, that he's got a really good selection of salt water stuff. Yeah. Let me see. He had a box puffer for the longest time. I think he's, I think he sold it now. But he always has heaps of um, seahorses. Yeah. And like stuff. There's all sorts of starfish, um, oh, live it. rock, corals. It's got a, a couple yeah, of them, eels, a couple of sharks, yeah, them lionfish. Them puffer fish, they. They're not really reef safe, so you can't keep them with any coral. So that's why yeah. they eat long. You always see them in the tank either by themselves or with some more fish. But I got one of these. These are it's a basslet. It only get probably like about three inches max. It's a saltwater fish. Okay, it's not that big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pretty cool. Uh, the little guy. But it's a is it's actually a bass. It's part of the bass family. Oh. So. There you go. I just learned something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It be chilling, though. The mugs. For now. Fast. What's, uh, what's that one he said he had? What kind of fish that was? I don't remember because he had a whole list. Not nah, the sickly one he was talking about. Um, yeah, back to the chat now. Hey, what's up, Fathom? Appreciate you. Hi, Alex. Um, I'm over here looking at these uh these fish. Damsels. Right? The chat. Oh yeah, he says it's a damsel, but then he's saying it's a sickly, so that's kind of throwing me yeah, off. Yeah, and then he says it's a reef bass. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> it's like three different things. I know it's hurt my secret, brain. A reef, a reef bass and a damsel. That's it's three different fish, bro. Oh fuck! <laughs> Raina, you kill, bro. But you killing my brain right now. I know I'm not an expert, man. By no, by any means, but. <laughs> I've never seen all three of them be named. And then we're talking about a saltwater fish. Maybe I'm just, you know. You learning me something right now. That's why I love this shit. 
Cause you you teaching me something, bro. Do you know the German name? Nah, I know. I don't. <laughs> Let me see. Let me show you a da- let me show you what a, a damselfish is to me, and then maybe. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Craig. What Craig say? Um, his local saltwater dude is doing it tough right m- uh, at the moment. He's depressed, and his wife doesn't know what to do with him since um since his pop died. He went downhill. Oh shit, man. See this? Depression is real, Craig. It's it's definitely a it real is. thing. It is. I'm going to I'm going to hold up the local hamburger shop. <laughs> In that point, <laughs> how to cook a damn point, hamburger? I'm <laughs> hungry again and stoned. <laughs> Hi, right, Craig. Uh, I don't recommend that, man. At all. That's that could be dangerous, man. He said, almost all of my fish in a big tank are from around right. Australia. Okay, okay. You're stealing your fish, Rainer. Would be Easter for me. Depression is bloody real. So, yeah, the fish that I have on the screen, um, Homer, these are like what we call damselfish. So like, see, I recognize that one with the yellow tail. Yeah, that's usually pretty common. Yeah. Um, Um, Let me see. I don't recognize black. The black, this black one with the white dot is pretty common. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, they pretty cool. Why does he kind of look like? Like a stunted goldfish. <laughs> like, the must get pretty big too. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like that. I like the scale pattern on it. Oh, uh, yeah, they they some pretty cool fish. They just known to be assholes though, but they real hardy. <laughs> they real hardy. You know, like that one. That's pretty That's cool. Nice. Like this, let me show you the one I got. Yeah, I definitely, I reckon, I know I've seen the one with the yellow tail here. See that? This one with the Lara tail, this is one of the ones I got. Oh, wow. And when I tell That's you, cool. he, he is an asshole. <laughs> Dennis Leary on a good day. Yeah, like, bro, I don't. <laughs> I tried to put him in a community tank with everybody and give him a chance, and he just tore the whole tank up, bro. <laughs> he tore the whole tank Fathom. up, bro. Fathom's like, I'll steal your fish and I'll steal them again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Said one is like the one with the yellow fin, but all fins are yellow. Oh, okay. The other one is the Dalaskas family. The other is looking like the striped one. Well, that wasn't cool. Back on the wrong one, so I'm guessing he's talking about like this, but it's all yellow. So it's something like this. He said damsels are jerks. Nah, definitely. <laughs> the other one is a Dalaskas family, and the other is. Looking like the stripe. All right, so they damsels, but why? I wonder. So y'all call them cichlids down there? Hmm. 
I guess it kind of is. It's a saltwater cichlid. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, nah, that, that's some cool fish, definitely. Yeah. I just learned something else now. I don't like this. I'm I'm clocked off. <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't be working this hard, but I'm learning stuff. It's good. Nah, what's crazy, these mollies right here, they could be saltwater too. Like, they freshwater, but you can co convert them to saltwater. Ah, oh, okay. Like mollies, you can do that. Yeah, it's a molly. I I acclimate all... them to the salt water. Yep. I had one that looked like this, but it didn't have like the liar tail. But I had converted yeah, okay. him to uh, I converted him to salt water. He ended up dying though, probably like after like three months. But he ate a lot of algae though. In the time he was in there, the mugs eat algae like crazy. Yeah, they eat algae like crazy. That's why I definitely like, you know, these fish be already small, like the mollies and platies and stuff, but I see it's definitely better to get those while they're like babies, you know? Because if you get them while they full grown, then the life expectancy not that long on them. Yeah. That's why I would ask the animal, you know? Cause I don't, I don't really like getting, getting fish that's full grown. Cause I feel like I don't get to see the progress. Yeah. You don't get to see the progress. Like you know, I I'm pretty sure Oscars people want to watch them uh, grow. Cause you know, they grow pretty. Fast yeah, absolutely. So you you want to watch your fish grow. It's been cool seeing my my angels grow up. They, I feel like they they, they got to they a certain sickles. point and then they've just like exploded. <laughs> They're huge. No, nah, for real. Man, let me see what you talk about, bro. He said they are sickles. I don't see how, bro. Okay. Yo. Yo. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Hello. Hello. That's my little tank. Yeah, and not so big, little. Big fish. From above. Oh, yeah, the trigger. Man, <laughs> them some big fish, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the south wing is already 12 years. The trigger is about seven, the bigger one. <laughs> you got you got corn? Right? Oh, I see what you mean now, because he's got the stripes, but he's got the yellow tail. Huh? You got some coil in there? No, not in that tank. That's a powder tank. Oh, I got okay. too many triggers in that. Yeah, about to say how it's working. Do you still have your mud skippers? Yeah, but she, he's on the water. I forgot about them. Craig said, if, if you have a hole in your roll, raw has you. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> what the hell? Bloody YouTube shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, back I'm back after about four shorts. <laughs> what was that, Raina? That's my grouper down there. Yeah, he's hiding out right in the corner. Oh, yeah. What's that, a panther grouper? Yeah. Man, I'm he's get cool. Big. Yeah. He is. How big is it now? About a foot. Damn. Man, what size is that tank? A 300 gallon. 300 gallon. Oh, okay. That's your 300 gallon. 150 centimeters by 150 by one meter high. And I keep the water low. Otherwise, my fish are splashing all, all the water out in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. them, some, them some big fish because they make the tank look small. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they make the tank look small. Also, Crazy my... Also, my little hermit. 
Little. That yeah. Oh wow. Hey, that's the shell upgrade for him for the next. Balls. Oh, that's his upgrade? Yeah. Nice. That's Homer. Hey, Homer. Yeah, there's no mistake in that guy. He's a boss. Yeah. Would you be, yeah. Would you be holding them up? Petting it? Yeah. Yeah. He's hand pain. He also likes to eat out of the, out of the hands. Uh, He's a good one. <laughs> June absolutely said, loves Homer. Homer. Yeah, he said if yeah, you know, Homer's so, uh, he's so cool. One. Yeah. He don't have the big blotches, he got smaller blotches and the big blotches. Yeah. There he I is. Was, I was looking at a selfie. And I see they have him like coming from two different places, like Indonesia and um Sri Lanka or something. Sri Lanka? No, it's say S R I Lanka. Yeah, Sri Lanka. Oh, okay. Lanka. It's, it's pronounced. Sure. So it's like the West, the the Indies. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's the difference, like in the fish. I should have cleaned the glasses. Yeah, I don't know. Because the ones that become that's from looking so good. The ones yeah, that's coming from I should Indonesia clean more cheaper. the glasses. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro, you got but, some polys in there? Oh, hell yeah. no. Yeah. Look at them all. That's yeah, so poly. cool. It and started polys, out as a, an yeah. M&E tank. The oh, one that's in the right clowns. bottom hand corner? That shit is yeah, super. Yeah, those are my poly tours. Bro, that shit is super toxic. Yeah, they are. You can kill a house block with it. Wow. You say he could what? A house plant. You could kill a house plant with it. <laughs> no, I he think he's still there, he still there, Reina. I think he just froze. Nah, man, that shit is super toxic. Like that should have kill you. Wow. Nah, like for real. That's kind of cool, though. Nah, that shit, it is cool, but it's, it's dangerous, though. Handle it carefully. Or not at all. <laughs> nah, not at all. You only want to take a chance. Especially if you got, like, a cut or something in your hand, on your hand or anything. Oh, yeah. An open wound. And you put your hand in the tank, it's over with. Oh, Craig just pulled his sweet potato up. He got around six. Nice. Uh, sure, man. That didn't didn't take long at all, did it? You said it got around six of them. Sweet potatoes be good too. Eight. <laughs> He's still going. He got eight. eight. I lost the there. I see you. You froze out, man. But yeah, I was saying that. That shit. That shit oh, there you go. And that's my grow a tank for the big one. Oh, Emma ain't turning. That's What's a that? little dragon rats. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. My phone doesn't turn. I don't know why. Oh, no. you have to have your um the the setting so turn off portrait mode before you come into the studio. Ah, okay. I guess I have to try that. That works for me sometimes. <laughs> he said you should have left them in there until they, until they moved. That's uh, basically my venomous tank. I got here my puffers, my <laughs> uh, scats, and my uh, mm. Jamaica catfish and uh, striped tang and uh, rabbit fish. Okay. But a different kind. Hi, June. She's a water change is done. I still haven't caught the last Oscar. Man, them fish be hard. <laughs> There's always <should've> one. 
They'd be hard as shit to kill. There's always one that just wants to make trouble because he sits there and watches you take everyone else. Bruh. <laughs> My fish do it too. Man, it's, crazy. <laughs> it's such a pain. Hey, man. So, which one was he calling a cichlid, Homer? Other tank. The tank? No, it's in the other tank. In the oh, other it's tank. in the other tank. Yeah. But it's probably sleeping. It oh, should, okay. Normally, the lights are out on the other tank. Yeah. How many day. tanks do you have? In this room, four. Four? <laughs> in this room, four. I like that. That's like a yeah. Danik announcer. That's a, that's a real fish keeper. She said, uh, uh, I only got one freshwater tank gone. in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The rest of the apartment are with fresh water. Oh, okay. Some Africans and my two tanks of so, guppy culture. So you, so you said some African cichlids. Yeah. So you, uh, so you got some freshwater cichlids, but then you also have a saltwater fish that you you call a cichlid, also. Yeah, it's a it's a cichlid. When you look it up in the books. Under... Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. It's still part of the sickly family. Yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. That's what's up. Took yeah, a bit like the, the Tanganyika where before they got cut off by the ocean. Uh, all right, that's cool, man. Shit, whenever you get a chance to show that mug, I love to see it. When is down there? She said, Hopefully took everything out of the tank. Where did he go? Under the substrate. Oh no, he's down there between the rocks. Usually. Yeah. Those are my engineers back there. Some Gobi the engineers? Yeah. Man, I had one of those things. That mug kept jumping out the tank. It already jumped like behind the tank. Oh like, I no. All, he, all he in like one. to jump. Bruh, those scared. are some jumpers. And then he could swim backwards too. It can swim yeah. forward and it can swim backwards. And it's my replacement for a real eel in the big tank. Yeah. Oh, okay. Man, that was, that's but my they hide all the number time. two least favorite fish. They cool though. They just he just got took me, everything man. out of the tank. Where did he go? Oh no. That's why I said he went under the substrate. <laughs> and the is he dug in. There. One of them. Although June doesn't typically have substrate. No. Yeah. Probably stuck stuck on one of the rocks there. There he is. I was poking up. Did he jam himself inside one of the decorations or something, June? Mm -hmm. What uh? What you feed the fish? I feed uh, the Olio Plus from Tropical. Some flakes. The Olio, I ain't never saw that before. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, Tropical is more a thing in Europe than in the US. So I can see him swimming around a little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't like How when I be around the tank. I usually try to catch them. How long have uh, you been having that hermit? The hermit, I got like... him for around eight years. Eight years? God damn. Yeah, he's got old. That's the only survivor that survived the introducing of the tanks, uh, the triggers. In a tiny 40 gallon. You can't catch him in a 40 gallon? What are you doing? Down you need there, a big it's you my red You said what kind of trigger? Sleep. The red tooth. That's my Hawaiian, the homo homo nukunuku apu ao ao. What kind of light you running? Butter. It's one fish. <laughs> what kind of light do you have? <laughs> fish one, uh, June a, zero. Uh, Tropic Marine Center light. It's the ray. Okay. It's around eight years old. 
uh, was one of the first what we had in the fish shop over our prairie tanks there. So that tank been set up for like 12 years? Uh, that one is just set up for four years, but I had four. the fish, another tank in a smaller one. Okay, that's what's up. Then I thought, hey, a bigger tank would be a good option. Yeah, 300, that's a pretty nice size. The answer is yeah, always a bigger tank. The size. And I'm lazy okay. with doing my water changes. I got a big uh, biological filter and the roller mat. You plan on going bigger than that, or are you going to just keep the 300? Ah, uh, double the size would be nice. Or just uh, put the connection tube in another tank on the on the side of it. But I have yeah. to move first. What kind of, I'm on the floor weight what limit, kind of tank, actually. What kind of tank is that? Uh, it's made out of wood. What the? And plexiglass and pond liner. Oh, well. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you can see a part of my pond liner. Oh, yep. And I shielded uh, it with the cheap Amazon plastic. The roller matic is cool. Yeah. Roller matic is cool, yeah. Cool. Let's walk over there. Got a feeling they ain't talking about the same kind of roller mat, though. That's the small filter I use it. Oh, is that like one of those kids' trash cans? Uh, that's like one of the part? garden trash cans, what you use for water in the garden. Oh. Just runs How back with a pipe. That's my external filter. That's my biological, the big thing. Just my small skimmer and the roller mat. Yeah, damn it. Easy right. as can be. That's cool. Then. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Everyone hates that tank. I'm too. Wow, tank. I think it's cool. Ah, it's stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> you can't plant <laughs> it. You can't maintain it. You, you don't even can't clean the glass right. I mean, you could try. You could try and plant it. I try. I try. You know what? You uh, could do some really like cool a, layers uh, in the bottom. <laughs> you know how you make your life easier? You just fill it up about halfway with substrate. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can plant it and do it because then, then you can you reach. come over to lift it when I have to move it. <laughs> 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 but it's nice for angels. Hey, all fish in this tank, uh, I didn't buy it, also just customer returns. Or I've just had another idea. You know how they have those, um, like the polystyrene ball, well, floating balls with the moss on it? Yeah. If you took the same idea and had like Anubias or Java fern or whatever kind of rhizome plant you could get and put it on... You know, the polystyrene, the, the ball with the netting. The biggest the... problem. What's Do you that? See the holes up there? Yeah. That's the only point that you can get in the tank. Oh, jeez. And it's. That's my ceiling. Bro, look how close it is to the wall. Yeah, okay. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got it as a used <laughs> tank. <laughs> Was she Craig, Craig, you giving Facebook, Facebook people? <laughs> it's too easy, Craig. You better leave them Facebook people alone, man. Especially in some of those fishy Facebook groups. Oh my God, people are so Ooh, stupid man. and so annoying. The first problem with that tank, man, is that big speaker right on the side of it. <laughs> he blowing the fish away. I got uh, it froze again. Frozen again, yeah. He doesn't have the best um, where are you from? Where are you at? signal in his house. Where are you from? Gene, with an angry right, Gene. Where are buddy? You from? can do like floating island tile uh, type things with your string at the top, but 
he can't do anything because he can't move the tank. So I drain that tank again, nah, for real. A ten truck, <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're uh, we're home busy or me. entertained. Where Homer from? Uh, he's walking through his house, so he's got bad reception. He'll, I'm sure he'll be back. No, I'm saying, where is he from, though? Oh, where's he from? He's in Austria, I think. Oh, he's in Australia. He He's from the nice Germany. Yeah. <laughs> the Homer's down great. Um, so Homer is Rainer. Rainer has two dogs. He's got a tuk-tuk, um, pretty sizable property he's living on. Um, so tuk-tuk, tuk-tuk, tuk-tuk is like a, a six-seater. It's kind of like a motorbike, a little roll cage on it. Okay. Um, I think his is only two-seater, but it's got a little, like, tray bed on the back. He rides that around. So he lives in the suburbs. Uh, he it's lives a, in like farmland. Yeah, yeah better looking Germany. <laughs> yeah, better looking Germany. Um, they, there's, I can't remember what they grow in that massive field. It's like soybeans or something, some sort of bean or. Yeah, it's a little car with the, with the dog. <laughs> little car is so cute with the dog. <laughs> Lilith has grown so much. He said, if you ever see John Costner. <laughs> okay, Craig. I'll try and remember. <laughs> Craig, you better leave them folks alone, man. <laughs> you going to have the fish fam going over to Facebook. <laughs> trying to defend your ass. <laughs> it's, a pretty, yeah. it's pretty interesting just sitting there reading through some of the comments. <laughs> Talking about who the hell is John Cox? <laughs> I don't want to see John's Cox. <laughs> nah, me neither, man. <laughs> I'm straight. Oh, Bell's no. Not here to make me behave. Bell's not here to make me behave. <laughs> yeah, that's y'all, what I figured. <laughs> y'all better get Bell on the line, man. <laughs> Like behavior, I'm telling Bell. <laughs> exactly, I'm turning you in. <sighs> nah, kidding. Well, Craig, well, she Craig, just rolled her eyes. Like, oh, really? Again? <laughs> what are you trolling them people on over there? Why Craig messing with them people on Facebook? Because it's easy. Would they be saying something about the fish stuff or something? Uh, it's a bit of everything. I, oh, I lost the connection there, back. I see. Hey, that. Sam said he'd be back. You must got the AOL. Ah, uh, no, I got A1. A1? <laughs> yeah, it's Austrian. I'm oh, from okay. Europe. Ah, oh, that's what's up, man. Oh, yeah, that, town, those are my town. mixed African tank. It includes also one customer <laughs> bring back. June, you still oh, ain't caught that fish? Like, what? That's so funny. This it's taunting us. I'll back the junkie up. I was one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been, been there, okay, done that, bro. These hey. are cichlids. The only the only thing what I don't buy are fresh for the fish. Yeah, is that all oh, that? That's a uh, venison <laughs> or something like that or giraffe fish. That's a giraffe fish. Yeah, the one with the green, with the spots. Yeah, that one supposed to get pretty. Yeah, that's awesome. cool. Yeah, hey, the customers decided they want to have the fish. Like, uh, it's too aggressive. Or yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, that one's gonna get big. It's gonna the colors yeah. gonna change too. Yeah, he will. He will get blue. Yeah, 
I like them mugs too, though. Got the peacock. Yeah. Then a few albino peacocks. Electric. What's that? Electric Blue Johnny? I don't know the most English names. Oh, okay. And then best I got, I even got the name with it, so. That one with the ones with the blue stripes, like with the light blue. Ah, oh, that's a yeah. striped mouth breeder. That's a yellow. But what the, the customer didn't tell me what that is. Like a hat, some type of hat. Yeah. Some of them are mixes. I don't know. Yeah. Nah, it's some pretty nice selections, though. Hey, you have, it, you have any aggression in her? Well, yeah, I see a little bit. Yeah, I did. I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I see them chasing each other. Yeah, that, they are males, usually, what I get. They say the ones with the egg spots on the, the bottom fin are usually males. Yeah. And the, the females and usually don't, don't have that much color. No, they're some, usually grayish, brownish. Yeah, depends on species. species. Yeah, I like them mugs, though. Man. Cichlids is uh is the second fish I started because I you know started out with the goldfish, of course. Then I started asking, well, can I get some of these fish with these fish? And I was talking about the cichlids, and they was like, nah. So of course <laughs> they started a whole another tank. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, can you keep plants with uh, cichlids? I haven't had any luck. They always I think it depends on the cichlid and how they're yeah. raised. And okay, if you care about the plants. Oscars. It's yeah. an electric yellow lab right there. The all yellow with the black stripe. That's yeah. electric yellow lab. Yeah. What we call it. Now that spotted one was the giraffe, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that one. But nah, man, when He's all the ready. plants I ever put in the tanks with my cichlids, they always either eat them or dig them up. Because mine be digging through the sand. Yeah, like, they so. usually dig them up. That's why I got them under the rocks. And they hold up so far. And I had some duckweed in there, and they ate that up. And I put some melodia in there, and it, and it looked like they ate that up too. So They be eating. Yeah, but it's a skilled level of keeping. Yeah, it's very hard. Sent the picture. <laughs> said, okay, Craig, I'm draining the to? tank. Hey man, don't drown a fish, man. Talking about she's draining <laughs> the tank. <laughs> oh, she, yeah, she's going after that fish. <laughs> yeah, like, that you're fish. coming out of there, you little turd. <laughs> yeah, you had enough of that. Oh. Okay, I'm paved now. I've had a fun day till tomorrow. <laughs> Sit pissed to the. I wanted to remove all the fish of this tank and just keep the oh, wow. albino peacocks. Yeah, the albino or peacocks. Or getting some discus would be the other option for the tank. Yeah, I think I'm going to try like some plants that I could attach to the driftwood. You know, they have like the little rye stone on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, Nubius works usually great. Yeah, the yeah, other yeah. works usually something like that where they can't dig it up and i'm, I'm gonna see how they go yeah the floating plants haven't been a success and and I they also to, don't like some... adele knows that plant she got it too i don't know the english name some no, of the don't like the taste sorry of it, i was so looking at it. it looks like wisteria yeah that's yeah, what some it of is. The... Some of the plants they don't like the taste of, so they might not eat it. Yeah, they're a bit it, bitter for them, I guess. They'll still dig it up, though. I mean, I have. We will dig it up. But... I have it kind of everywhere, and it yeah, grows hey, differently it grows in everywhere. every tank. It grows. Oh, I've everywhere. got. It just grows differently. Yeah, it depends on. It's something it like every tank. Some yeah, of it's kind of thin and weedy. What you putting in there? Um, green. What, what you putting off in there? See, and you know, in this one, it doesn't grow at all. But I'm still growing the the well, the dwarf. Do you use liquid fertilizer? I you have know, fish. Yeah, they are their own fertilizer. <laughs> nah, that's yeah. the only thing you use. Yeah, 
Hey, for the easy plants, you don't need more. Yeah. Just some poop and That's fish. probably what I did. Uh, I added too much nutrients in my tank. Because I, I had used some liquid uh, fur. So I've got oh, yeah. the um, dwarf Bolivian. And that go it's Only going nuts in this fur, one tank. I, I use this iron. Iron? Yeah. Iron. Okay. okay. If I, I do fertilize, iron. I um Okay, okay, Craig. Pop a little bit of the, the flourish in. Flourish, okay. I, I use yeah. some of that. Not before. much and not often. So yeah, know, maybe uh, like once a month or so, at least with up. the little guys, I'll pop in a couple of drops. Spare tank? Craig, no. <laughs> Those sweet potatoes be fire, man. Do y'all put y'all sweet potatoes? Oh, in look at that! With, with got plants with the butter. <laughs> y'all ever put y'all sweet potatoes in the oven with the butter? Oh yeah. Roasted sugar. sweet potato. Oh my god! With the, it's the best sugar. thing ever. Fire. If I had a favorite vegetable, sweet potato would be it. I think found froze again, man. Oh no! Just you showed <laughs> the... What is that? What plant is that? I think that's wisteria again. Hmm. As it looks oh, like, I go. can't show you my guppies. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't like certain parts of your house. Said a few weeks and one old sweet potato. Oh my goodness. Hey, where you hey Homer, um, where would you recommend a good cleanup crew from offline? Yeah, my internet collection, let me show you my guppy tanks. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. I say, uh, where would you recommend a good cleanup crew for a saltwater tank? Mm, depends. If you got corals, let the, her the hermits out. But otherwise, got, some nasturtia snails uh, would do. Uh, if you got problems with cyano, uh, no, strawberry I have, punch. A, I have hair algae. Green hair, hair algae. algae on the rocks or on the. The back wall and on the rocks. Mm. Turbo snails. Turbo snails. Or you, when you got a bigger tank, you could use some scats. They are uh, in a relation to the tanks, but not that aggressive. Do you have an online store? Would you, you recommend? I would recommend the uh, scats. No, I'm saying what store? Like, where would you get them from? Ah, uh, which store? I don't know the U.S. stores. What you got over there? I'm in uh, Europe. Okay. That center. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I would use some scats. They are cheaper than the tanks. Not that aggressive. Towards yeah. other fish. But they get yeah. huge, and it's a swamp fish. What kind of fish is that? Uh, the those are spotted cats. Uh, scats, they are from Australia. Ah, oh, man, got a nice color. You get, um, yeah, a bit bigger than a foot, usually. It's all good. Appreciate you for coming up, for sure. And they Beautiful. clean a lot of algae. That tank was full. Yeah. 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 Almost that I was before. up to here. All up off the rock with green. Now I got the bit on the rocks left. I only did got them for three months. <laughs> he eats like a eat a lot that's of a, a a yellow line tank. I guess it's in U.S. name. Yeah. It's a smaller tank. He will stay small. <laughs> like I said, he's still an outfit. 
Yeah, that's probably really something like I'm gonna have to get man me a good cleanup crew and then like one of those uh tanks. Some rasses they do a good job on the Bristol worms. Yeah. Well do they That's eat... why I got him. They have a problem with coral though, right? It depends Rats. on the species. Rasses usually let corals alone, but they eat around the backs what uh usually on corals. Especially mm. with the, your uh large polyp. Stonies. Yeah. Like the noodle branch and the flat worms, they like to eat those. But they usually the rats also decimate your cleanup crew. He will go after snails and hermits and everything what he can get in the mouth. Dang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think that's why I haven't got a ras, man. Cause... Yeah, and they are usually aggressive, like the six line rasses. Dang, <laughs> it can be a handful. Yeah, nah, bro. I have trouble enough with the damsel I have. Like, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I had to put him by himself because he kept harassing everybody. Even the coral, he threw sand up like on my coral. So. Yeah. <laughs> he was tripping, man. Some fish are just assholes. Yeah, and he was he's one of them. So I put him back by himself. He had killed the engineer Gobi. Like I had the engineer the? Gobi inside of there with him, and he killed him, bro. Yeah, I also got in this tank a bamboo shark, but she's not. How long that tank's been up and going? Uh, around a half year. Uh, yeah. Not even that. Okay. And it's just another life rock only tank. Too many fish that eats corals in here. Yeah, exactly, man. And I think that's that's the problem with me. Like, I don't want to put the fish in there that eat the coral. And yeah, uh, that's why I got my smaller coral tank with my anemones, a few large poly polypstonies, and some soas and palitoas, and the other tanks. Yeah, I can live without corals. <laughs> How you ever dealt with a uh with an urchin, a sea urchin? Yeah, I had them, but they eat usually with my tanks. What I got uh, the sealant in the corners. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting like a pin cushion or something like that. Pin cushion sea urchin. Ah, oh, they were, they are nice. They are good algae eaters. Yeah, so that that's what definitely what I'm looking for right now is uh good algae eaters, man. Good algae eaters. They would would work great as an algae eater, basically any of them. Definitely. They usually all eat algae. Let me switch up to the other tank. Okay. But I don't have to hold the phone. <laughs> oh, for sure. Ah uh, yeah, man. So definitely, man. We didn't we didn't learn some stuff tonight. We didn't ran through a lot of information. You know, we didn't. I didn't got y'all take on the, the big box stores, man. We didn't. We didn't had some good conversation tonight, y'all. Think my man Homer having um connection issues. Okay, okay. So this is you got us in the war. Oh. I thought he had us in the water, y'all. Ah, yeah, that mug nice. That mug nice, man. Did you get all those fish small and then grow them up? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, I'm more into fish than I uh, into corals and other stuff. Yeah. Sounds hard. I man, I, I think I'm about I think I'm fifty fifty right now. Like I like the corals and I like the fish. Really I think I'm probably about sixty fifty because I, I'm I like the corals more than I like the fish. Yeah. In the saltwater game. Yeah. I can Is see it? that, but I had them so long, so he grown on me. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. 
but it's some cool saltwater fish for sure but it's also some cool coil and it's nothing special what i got in my tanks and nothing finicky to keep yeah the most finicky thing i kept was one of those uh mandarin gobies or whatever they are yeah uh the most yeah. finicky one i had was a Hillis tang Hillis that yeah, was I a motherfucker to keep bruh i don't have enough uh copa pots so they end up dying it ended up dying yeah a lot like, of the smaller fish what only eat uh, live foods are hard to yeah, keep it, yeah they want to eat live food so yeah gotta grow that no, with, Man, with me nice. the fish have to eat flakes and have to eat later pellets and stuff too they only get once a day frozen yeah hey what's those smaller fish kind of look like uh the silver one with the yellow fins yeah that's a silver like mooney silver mooney okay, okay they get a foot long it's a huge yeah, really swamp nice. fish I think I saw those on, on this one site the other day, but like you said, they get a foot long. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's more for a public aquaria. They get pretty big. They get big, but usually in a tank, they don't get bigger than what my big ones are. Yeah. Yeah. Let me move it. Mug. yeah nice. the camera pick that, is in the way that mug didn't start out that color did it yeah hey they usually start off with two black stripes and a bit of yellow in the fence as a baby oh, yeah that mug is super nice man and the other one the striped ones are the high hats That what? would be something what sticks a lot off the ground. You say it's called a what? A hi hat. A hi hat. Yeah. The black and white zebra looking one. Yeah. As a juvenile, they got a bit of a longer fin on the front. Yeah, no, nah, that And it looks nice, like bro. the uh, hi hats that they had back in the days. Yeah, nah, there's something about the, the saltwater fish, though, bro. They be real cool. But I'm starting to see a lot of freshwater fish have a lot of color, too, though. Yeah. Like, it's some, it's some cool-looking freshwater fish, too. Thank you, What's that? That's a damsel with the with the white dot on the it, damsel too? damsel right? asleep, I guess. But I'm saying... The fish with the, the all black with the white dot, that's a damsel too, huh? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a Dalaskus. Like... That's a fish like... what I got from a customer. He didn't, can say me the name, the right one. He only know it's a Dalaskus. <laughs> yeah. From what it look like. That's the more aggressive one. He chases usually my... Baby Moon is what I got in the tank. Yeah. No, and for the Moonies, you need a big tank, a deep tank, especially. Or otherwise, they're more skittish than in this tank and try to kill themselves. <laughs> what the hell? And they usually sold as brackish or freshwater fish. Yeah, nah, them look nice though. It's the same with the scats. Hold on, like the one black one, one what's swimming there. There's all this fresh water. Uh, 
And for prepared food, they usually use koi food for the big fish. Right. So them ones be eating. She got the flakes. Yeah, they love their flakes. We've got like times a day. How many times a day you feed them? Eight to ten times. Eight to ten times. Dang. Yeah, I have to keep the triggers busy. I only got three of them and they are still growing. Yeah, they haven't even reached their max size yet, huh? No. I'd be <laughs> going for it. <laughs> yeah, them ones ain't even reach max. Mm, they won't. They usually end around a foot, a foot and a half. Okay. So not that big. But a good size for a fish in a home aquarium. Yeah, man, that's a big fish. Definitely. It's definitely a big Once fish. a week, I have to feed my grouper. Then he gets his frozen shrimps. Y'all be feeding, feeding uh, frozen mice and shrimp. I feed in frozen mice, I feed in frozen brine shrimp, I also feed uh, freeze-dried brine eggs, the big fish like it, as a plankton replacement, what I else feed, uh, fresh vegetables, salads, carrots, cucumbers. In the, in the salt water tank? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. The, the tanks need it a bit. They need the vitamins and the uh, fiber. You ever do like the seaweed? I do the seaweed, but usually the seaweed, they don't like it that much compared to fresh food. What? Well, I'm pretty and sure. And the piece of salad don't produce. <laughs> fresh is better, more vitamins, and usually the seaweed is smoked. What you can get in the packages for making sushi. You talking about like the, you ever try like the garlic one, the red one? The nori sheets, what you can buy in the grocery usually. Oh, okay, in the pet okay. store, too expensive. Yeah, I had caught some that was on sale. I had bought it. Well, the, the fish store was going out of business. And I had bought some. <laughs> the, the fish seemed to like it, though. Hey, I'll be, I'll be feeding to the cichlids. They like it too. Nothing wrong with feeding fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. I never tried the, the fresh uh, before. Fresh uncooked. Good. You can tell if the fish likes it. It could be some that you ch just swap the salad bread and then they eat it. Oh, uh, they said like nori sheets for sushi. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, that, so those the are thing. the cheapest solution. Oh, so that's the same. Okay, okay. I'm going to try it, man, see if they like it. Because I know my cichlids, they love that seaweed. Yeah, they, lo they, they love, love to rip it apart. Yeah, man, they be eating them. Uh, so. Especially yeah. the African ones. They love it. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, I got a Kenya cichlid, and then um, I got the... Three blue electric Johnnies, like the blue ones you have. Mm. One peacock, and then I have a, a oblique, and it's a hat. But man, they be they beat the oblique up. I just had to separate them 
That's what I was saying earlier, bro. They was fighting like cats and dogs. Yeah. Hey, that's why I want to reduce the cichlid load in the tank and just want to keep my albinos. Yeah, see, I think I need to add more. That's I the have... other way. But I want to yeah. breed the albi albino peacocks, what I got. Yeah, I think that's what I just really need to do too, man. I know fish keepers always buying you know, tanks, but I really do need another tank, though. Yeah. Because I could put the the Kenya cichlids in one, you know, that I want to breed, you know, like you were saying, and then just put yeah. all the rest of the cichlids in another one. That's the, have yeah. one pretty tank to look at and one desiccated breeding tank. That's the way to go, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I could really have, you know, the dude that think he's the alpha, have put him in there with like, you know, three, three male, I mean, three uh, females and... Yeah, you'll be straight, but right now, you know, they just all in there mixed, and I'm pretty sure that's the problem that the other cichlids are males, and it's probably around breeding time, so they just all kind of showing aggression right now. Yeah, that's usual. Yeah, but he like, man, I'm the top dog. It's gonna go the way I want it to go. So. <laughs> yeah, my Africans don't don't show color. The uh, yeah. Too, too less or too many. Mm -hmm. Trying to tell you wanted. Yeah, and I, I believe I have two, two less. But I just really need some stuff to break the the line of sight, so they really can't see each other and stuff. Yeah. That's another problem. It's just kind of open, you know. Yeah, that's why I got uh, saltwater-looking stones in it. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's probably what I need, man. More caves. Yeah. I need to add, I need to add more caves in my cichlid tank. Because right now, it's just... I got a big piece of driftwood in there, but... I don't think that's, that's cutting it, though. The funny thing is, I never think of doing, uh, uh, like, uh, a pleco in my cichlid tank. They would shred it apart, I guess. Well, I have a rubber lip pleco in my cichlid tank. you pretty cool. And I have a bicher in there also. I just added the bicher. Hey, would be also a nice looking fish. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They it look like though they've been kind of nipping at his tail, so I don't know if he if he getting in on a battle too. Why they trying to kick everybody out? Yeah, it's hard for me to pick a fish what I wanna keep for me in my tanks with the yeah, fish cool. what I got in the live fish shop. Yeah, I really feel like though I need to feed more stuff in my um, in my fish diet. But I, I try to mix it up, you know. I have some of those algae wafers, and then I got some bug bites. Then I got like some new life spectrum. So, then I got the frozen mice and shrimp. But I haven't tried any fresh um, vegetables like the what you said, zucchini. Zucchini salad, banana, basically anything bananas? except you, for you, yeah. What? Bananas, carrots. So, so is that like if they don't eat it all, you take it out? Pretty sure. Ah, uh, I usually let it twenty four hours in the tank. When when it's then not gone, mm -hmm. I take it out. Yeah. He said, need more structure. And you can basically use what you, you would use to eat. Yeah, true veggies and meat options. Yeah. High key. High hey, that's why I also keep my food. vegetable garden. Okay. Outside. Variety is key. The tank is at one inch. And you still can't catch the fish. Get out. <laughs> no. 
Okay. As soon as you see me coming up with a uh, nut. Well, no, nah, Jewel, Jewel was trying to catch her Oscars, but then uh. it sound like she said she lowered the tank water. She said the tank is at one inch, but I'm still thinking she's still trying to catch that fish, though. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> or she catched it and never realized it because the other Oscar was laying on top. Bruh. Um, kale? Can you feed it kale? Can you feed the fish kale? You can feed anything you like to. I wouldn't feed oranges and stuff like that, but yeah, you like, can feed kale. So you just can... Not, just not anything that's citrus. Yeah, I don't like it yeah. when it's too okay, acidic. And when it pops up with all the juice, yeah, the fish don't can eat it right. It's just a shell. Okay, okay. But paprika strawberries blueberries yeah you name it you can use it basically i wouldn't have never thought that bro that you i would stay away from creamy stuff like avocados and such yeah 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 it makes the tank dirty really quick also Mm. the bananas when the it's messy yeah but that's why i got the big filtration on the side Okay, okay. Now, I'm going to definitely try that lettuce and uh, zucchini and stuff, man. I usually throw it on my clip, what I got in the tank. Got a magnet clip. And then you can hang it on the front side or where you want. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I give them the seaweed. I put it in this, like, little clip and they just eat it from there. Heck yeah. Adele said no onions, no citrus. Okay. Yeah. But they like that garlic though. Garlic, it's okay. Mm-hmm. That new life spectrum food that I have, it it has garlic in it. Uh they, that flake what I fed got thirty percent garlic. They love it. Yeah, and also helps uh, with ache and stuff to keep the immune oh, okay. system up. Okay, okay. She had peas and beans. What kind peas. of beans? You can also use the canned ones. I seen the peas, but what, what kind of beans could you feed? Uh, the green beans, the chopped ones, but you can buy in the glass or in a can. The pre-cooked ones. I can't believe you watched that show, Kurt. <laughs> uh, you can also feed normal meat. It depends on the fish, what you got. Uh, straight up? Like, like raw meat? Beef, chicken, fresh, raw, yeah. Nah, nah, that's wild. So really, instead of all of this, this flaking... Pellet it's food. basically the flakes are just for me being lazy so we really could be feeding them like a nutritious diet you can feed them like uh, you can feed your dog ra- a raw diet basically yeah yeah exactly, exactly yeah and then you got the other spectrum of reef keeper they say no you don't do that you don't do that it's not uh, in the ocean yeah what we throw everything in the ocean <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Also, you you feed all of these things to your reef tank, also. Uh, not to the reef tank. The reef tank only gets mice and the uh, brine shrimps. Okay. Say desperate forty year old. But the reef tank got no place. filtration at all. It's only the live rock and the tiny skimmer for having the air in it. Oh, okay. The garlic is also awesome to clear out a fish if it's constipated, so I heard. <laughs> and it also helps with get, uh, new fish getting used to the food. Yo. Especially when you got predators, they go then for the scent of the garlic, not the scent of the shrimp mm-hmm. or other fish. 
That's why I can keep my grouper with my smaller fish. That mini Mooney would fit easily in the mouth. Yeah, that going to eat them up. Yeah, I know the bystander, he be smelling like, it seemed like he be smelling for the food. Like he be walking yeah. on the bottom, and then it's like he be smelling for it. You don't know exactly where it's at, but. Yeah, hey, yeah, awesome. Also, I think you call them in the U.S. rope fish. The stringy looking, snake looking one. Well, yeah, I believe that's a different fish. than the Yeah, bystander. it's a different fish, but similar looking. Yeah, it is. It is. He also got a good smell. I think any any of those fish would like those whiskers, kind of. Yeah, what they got the tube on the nose, like Murray yeah. Hills and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's how they be searching for the food. Yeah. I know. I noticed that. But it don't take them long to notice that they're food in the water. As soon as they smell no. it. <laughs> they own it, man. Hey, it's with my shark almost instantly. Yeah. I suppose it just means trying stuff your fish will eat. They all like certain things. Okay. Yeah, they all like Gar different stuff. <laughs> Garlic. I noticed food. my group, I don't like the iceberg salad. He more likes the lettuce style, like a butter lettuce. Ah, uh, he bougie. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> he said, I don't want the iceberg, but let us give him the romaine. Romaine he likes, uh, also the red, uh, radicchio he likes. He said, filling the taste. Everything sweet. Damn. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. He said, oh, I love rope fish. They look like eels to me. Yeah, they do. All them long fish be looking like eels. Uh, co coolie loaches. All of that stuff look like an eel. A coolie loach look like an engineer goby. A bit, yeah. But in small. Yeah. yeah. It was nice, though. Ah, uh, the next fish I'm getting is a blue line trigger. Oh, okay, okay. There's somebody that's uh, around. He be having one of those. Yeah, it's basically my clown trigger in a different painting. Yo, Fathom said, long boy love. Okay. <laughs> Little bastard swam right to the game. Uh. Yeah. You know, they like it long, Fathom. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what's up, though, man. You got some cool-looking fish, though, for sure. The mud's real cool, man. And then it show it show you know what you're doing, you're doing too, because you've had your fish for so long. So can't just know anybody keep the type of fish that you got right there. Ah, uh, they're easy to keep compared to the other fish. Shit, man. Every time I damn near see somebody with those fish you have, they almost sick. Like, yeah, easy to keep. You have just to know what you're doing a bit. Yeah, and you I have to know. have a, be on top of your quarantine. Yeah, no I fish say, go man. straight in that tank. I got them Ooh. at least a few months in my smaller tank, what I can treat with copper. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So he was like, you guys owe me 20 pellets for being here. <laughs> <laughs> now the Plecos could have some feet. Yeah. Go on and pay that man, John. He said, y'all owe him 20 pellets. He had you going for the rest of the night. Ah, what's that little black and orange fish? The black and orange with fish is a spotted cat, a scat. Oh, okay. It's like the, the other fish you had in the Like other the other tank. fish, but yeah. that was the aggressive one in the other tank, so I throw it in here. Okay, okay. It's also a venomous fish. They got uh, spines on the back. It hurts like something when they sting you. 
these pleco these are plecos more here yeah, okay dang you, you should have came up on the live and showed us uh joe mm -hmm. you didn't want us to, to want us to see you chasing that fish around huh you been after that fish for at least 30 minutes that's wicked you don't keep any uh shrimp in this tank no got no no luck with them the yeah. trigger eats them but i got somewhere in the tank uh crab a bigger one uh decorator crab so it, he's hard to see yeah about to say he be hiding himself yeah and usually it's only out at night one of my little scavengers what cleaned the tank for me yeah definitely that's why i was telling them earlier i had a green emerald crab that once he started ate all the algae he started eating my coils yeah he can be a be a bit of a pain in the ass yeah I had it always depends on the species and they don't usually always get the right species as a green emerald there are a lot of, awful a lot of a lot of green crabs out there yeah especially around reefs i had to give them the boot they start eating my zoa <laughs> got the boot the next thing i want to try is some bigger snails in the big tank like the, like, uh, the, the hawaiian conch all the countries it's got my big snail yeah something that's big enough that the trigger don't mess with it so i don't believe in a quarantine tank forever tank okay so once you enter are you in there oh it helps do you quarantine I do quarantine yeah. and I also do a quick stop that's a medicated bath before I add them in my quarantine in my grow at tag. Okay, okay, shit. I don't... Yeah, I know in my um in my I don't want to treat the big tank with copper. But like ain't... copper is like a trace element too though, also, right? yeah as a trace element yeah it's cool but you saying you don't want to like dose it no i don't want to dose it is it's expensive to dose the big tank compared to a smaller one but it could all i heard it could also kill like the invertebrates too though yeah but it's usually like when you got clean fish you got clean fish in especially for salt water And then you have to find the factor why they get uh, ick still in the big tank. Sometimes it's stress. But it's easier to start with clean. Especially when you got finicky fish like what I had, the uh, Achilles tanks or the other Acanturus tanks. You want to have them quarantined yeah man you don't want to take no chance no not with a 400 dollar fish man nah. that's that's why though i definitely didn't buy those fish from um the pet store earlier because the fish was already looking sketchy so i didn't want to introduce that to my new to my system you know hey when i see in our store where I work a, a sick fish i don't sell any fish out of the tank Man, they would. They didn't even, have no. Even the other ones looking good. They didn't have no signs up that no fish was not for sale, and it was fishing there, eating fish, dead fish. They was eating dead fish. I'm like, no. it's no way. Yeah, we got some dead fish now and then, but we got a lot of them. But usually, you clean in the morning, 
and you had to have not that fish left. Nah, you could tell they was behind on maintenance. Yeah. yeah was behind. We are starting usually an hour early uh, for only doing maintenance, getting the tanks ready. Clean the glasses, keep them, yeah. It's simple, bro. It's real simple. You said every tank is basically a quarantine tank. I feel you. You're With yours, up yeah. To the top of the tank and back down. Nah. My and in the fish shop, yeah. He might go up there a little clean something, but he just stuck on the wall. He'll never jump up, though. Yeah, I'm a bit lazy with cleaning the algae out of my, uh, from my glasses. You have plecos, though? No. I only got the plecos in my guppy breeding tanks. In my cylinder tank, I got a few uh, Chinese algae eaters. Yeah. Do they do they clean algae as well as the plecos, the Chinese algae eaters? I think so. When you don't feed them, they clean pretty good. Yeah, I definitely uh, haven't had any Chinese algae eaters in a while. Yeah, they can be a bit aggressive, but when you got them in a bigger group, like eight or ten, they do well <laughs> and don't annoy any other fish. Last time I had one of them, Walmart was selling fish. Yeah. <laughs> It can be a pain in the ass, like damsels. <laughs> my Siamese algae eater eats the BDA in my long fish tank. What I kind of try, want to try it to add a second Imperator, Imperator Angel and another Clown Trigger. Okay. Now them Clown Triggers be nice. Nice. A pair of them would be nice. But usually everyone says no, it's not possible to keep two. Shit, prove them wrong, man. They long fish uh, fathom talking about. That mug nice too. Yeah, the Australian one or the African one? Or the North America uh South American one. Gosh, or the Asian. <laughs> There are a lot of lungfish out there. Yeah. So the Africans sure are usually know. the huge ones. Yeah. That one look like he got little arms on the side or something. Mm. Yeah. That one nice though. An electric eel would also be awesome. Yeah. What size tank would you keep that in? I would take, uh, don't get them in a too big tank. You have to maintain it with gloves. Yeah. And a gallon for a smaller one. It's this dude on YouTube. He has some and like his, it's not a basement. Uh, yeah, the eel cave. Yeah, 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 but it's. That's, that's cold water. Eels. Yeah, some eels and stuff down there. It look cool though. Yeah, some Dosha loaches he got down there, some sturgeon. It's a good idea, but I would do a glass viewing panel on the top so you can watch the fish. Yeah, you can't even see them. Uh, you have to yeah. climb down. <laughs> uh, it's maybe a nice hangout when you are live in a desert. And you got down there a cool hangout place. Yeah, nah, definitely. Would be awesome smoking room. Hey, Fathom, what kind of uh, lung fish that is you have there, my, my sir? He 
got some nice bystrings too, though. Yeah, yeah from the first day, it got me a eel. See, the, the fish that I have on the screen right now, this bigger tank, that mug is it's my cichlid tank. Yeah. But that, the big yellow fish, that's right there. He the one always bullying people, man. And the fish with the stripes, that's the one they ate up. Like the one with the orange, the orange fish, and the one in the stripes that they have in the corner. That's the ones they they voting off the island right now, man. Mm. You, can't, you can't stay here, bro, bro. <laughs> that car. What did you say? Uh, he was asking what kind of lung fish was that? Do you have? Ah, oh, let me get some vegetables. Marvin. Big boy Marble West Africa. <laughs> He said he's gonna be back. Let me look this mug up. Marble West African. Six and a half and 40 inches. So today we feed a pair. Nearly eight pounds. God damn. Ah, man, pause, bro. <laughs> he said he got a uh, Marlboro West African lungfish. Mm. So how big did he get? From what I was seeing on here, it says six and a half and 40 inches. So he, 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 he might know a little more information. That's what he said on here. Yeah, today we feed a pair, the fish. You say you feed a pair? You say you feeding them pears? Yeah. Okay. They know what time it is. Yeah. So that's a Niger trigger. You say you trying to get a, a what else kind of trigger? I got a blue line. A blue line trigger. On Wednesday. For now, I only got my free. I got the Niger or Red Tooth trigger. Then the... Clown trigger and the uh, Hawaiian trigger. Okay. Damn, yeah, we say a long, adult lungfish have no major predators. What's with it? Nope. So, there ain't too many things that even uh, eat a uh, lungfish. They are usually the major predator in their environment. Except for the nitro, they usually eat the nature stuff that's floating around. Oh yeah, that might be cool. It's more of a plankton feeder, usually, for the bigger plankton stuff. Yeah. 
they must really don't haven't really uh bred them in captivity yet or something uh triggers usually don't uh you can get some angels in captive bread some basses some groupers the moonies are supposed to be captive bread what i got you can get uh, some slime fish as captive you can get some sharks as captive bread ah almost all of the clownfish it's exciting times to live in what we live in for captive breed stuff nah for real i was um it was some people on fish fam earlier they were some some saltwater guys and they were saying how they got a a coral which is an a can i don't know if you know what that is or not but they got that mug to basically develop from from the egg. egg from the egg yeah yeah it's hard to breed coral you need the right light you need you, know, you need to have it dark enough so that not they a, can spawn yeah not only that you got to catch it like on on like a full moon type yeah you have to have a moonlight and you have to be usually in that what they have in the nature exactly man so they put some dedication into that man i really tip my hat off to them though what would work easier would be some grow beds like they do for muscles yeah like yeah, the no Tridacna, <laughs> the the murder clamps. Man, that's crazy though to 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 grow some, and then now it's starting to get color. Like Heck they, yeah. was lo- they was looking at it from under a uh, microscope, and it's starting to, to develop color now. So it's and spe- in the tank, it develops different colors than it would be, would be in the nature yeah so that's pretty cool man you know and you also could use them as pollu- uh, pollution uh indicator for how dirty the water is in your tank yeah in theory that's what i've been i know they say it's like an algae or something but in some been been messing with the fish in the Florida Keys water. It's been making them like go in circles. So it, it, it's like it's taking over their brain, like neurologically. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, uh, it's, it's some type of algae or something, man. But I don't know. Uh, the Xuas Hantelis. Uh, it started with a G. Oh, yeah. I, in, in the marine Gam- stuff, is a lot of algae. Yeah, it's ga- It's like Gambria or something. I'm not for sure if I'm saying that right. Let me see. Let me look it up. But what I do basically with my tanks, uh, it's do an overst- oversized filtration and have it easy. Yeah, to not have a, a filtration, no, it's, it's crazy. And the big green canister is filled with uh, the blue filter form and some life rock. The filter form. I don't look up the name for this. It's an algae. Algae 
Yeah, longer, Dale. <laughs> uh, hey, Fathom, what the name was that the algae in the Florida Keys water that got the fish tripping out there, man? Yeah, Ah, uh, you mean, mean the, the red tide stuff? Uh, it... I, I'm not for sure what it is. But they... It got like the sawtooth um, sharks beaching their self. And then other fish are just like spinning in circles and controlling. Yeah. There's some venomous allergies out there. Or toxic. Oh, you say it's a bacteria, not red tide. Can't remember the name, but it's kind of like cyano. Yeah. It's kind of the bad brother of cyano, and it don't don't grow on the structure. It grows in the water column or up. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I think it uses a lot of oxygen in the water, like cyano does. Yeah, but it it got the fish like. got the fish like uh beaching their self and some of the fish are just like spinning in circles upside yeah down. so it sounds like an neurotoxin something that damaged the brain or the nerves yeah and i think those sawtooth uh, sharks are like on the endangered list or something so they went to like not seeing them rarely to rarely send them to now they send them all the time so yeah it's, hey it's yeah. the same with some fish can make you sick by what they eating yeah so it may it may be linked to an algae toxin yeah that's crazy you better not catch that in your tank yeah, nah, and yeah, see, that's what I was saying. This place that I was um, looking to order from offline, online, they say that they got they they fish and stuff from the Florida Keys. So I was thinking, like, man, I don't, I don't know if I want to get my fish from them or my snails. But it must be fine when they got the fish a week or two in stock. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, maybe they already had the fish, you know, and stock. It's the same around. with the poison uh, catched uh, fish, what you can get from the Philippines. Yeah, man. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm some of them make it one out of thousand over a year in the tank. Man, I'm on the fence about getting it from them, though, because I don't need my fish to start spinning and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> ain't, nothing, ain't nothing wrong with them now, so I don't want to put those snails and, and stuff. In hey, there would there. make them catch, uh, easy catch the fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, for a clownfish, all you got to do is cut the lights off. and he gonna, gonna Ah, eat. not even that. For my clownfish, you just have to put the hand in the tank. Bruh. They want. Uh, they will uh, start destroying your hand. Yeah, man. I be have to wave him off because as soon as I start messing with my cords, then he gets to trying to bite me. Like he didn't got me a couple times, but now. Ah, uh, mine are mean motherfuckers. Bro, 
I didn't I be watching him now though. So at first I didn't think that he was actually like trying to attack me, but now I be watching him. He be trying to <laughs> inch up on me to bite me. Ah, mind drawn blood and bite chunks what? out of my hands. Ah, nah. That's why I be waving them off. Like if I have the um, turkey baster or the the tongs in there, I just be waving them off. I chase his ass. He, he really be trying uh, to bite that, me, bro. That don't work with mine. Mine are a pair, and they got every fourteen days their axe. It's yeah. a pain in the ass when they got them. Man, yeah, I ain't that shit ain't cool. And then you think about it, if he, he bites you, you draw blood in the salt water, then you, you could fuck around and get an infection. Yeah. So that, that ain't even cool. Not even an, an infection. I got my polytoes in the tank. <laughs> yeah, them polys. So that, <laughs> that could be deadly, bro. I was seeing yeah. uh, one, I was seeing one clip where a dude had did that. He say like after a while he grew like these knots on top of his arm, and then he had to end up getting stitches. He said he had to take medication for like up to eight months. Yeah. Hey, the paleto of what I got, I know is one of the most potent ones. Exactly. That's why I said, bro, that's some dangerous stuff. <laughs> I got them from uh, aquarium. Where a a friend of mine works in. Uh, nah. They had them on display for ah, back in the day, and then they had them in the quarantine in the back. I would have let them keep them. Ah, oh, they they grow fast. They grow awesome. Yeah, they cool, bro. But it's not worth the the danger. Mm -hmm. You just don't mess with them that much. Yeah. You don't get them out of the water without the face protection or gloves. And you don't cook the stones. <laughs> <laughs> that would kill I would kill a whole block. Damn. With one of the rocks what I got in my tank. In terms of poison. <laughs> nah, bro, when you that. cook it you can inhale it as a poison. You see that that's too much though, bro. You got something that can take out the whole block? Yeah. Nah. The Palitoas. Uh, oh, In terms of, yeah. Man, I wish I wrote down the name. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm still over here searching, fam. They are working on a way to cure it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because it's spreading from what I heard last it's spreading its way down the keys, the Florida Keys. So I'm guessing, like you say, they trying to cure it before it, it takes out some more fish. But it started with a G. Uh, I just can't. I don't know why I can't find that one though. So it's the red tide uh, already there, where the Disney boat is traveling. Uh, the glass bottom um, ones. Yeah, no, nah, it's not the red tide, but hmm. yeah, it, it's not it's not red tide. It was something that started with a G. Okay. But I see that I see they saying some here with a five thousand mile wide blob of floating sargassum seaweed. So I'm guessing that was something that had an effect at one point. But what I'm talking about now. Recently, it, it started with a G that they thought it was some type. Mm. Of, that's probably what I need to type in instead of algae. Like Fathom said, it's a bacteria. That's probably what I need to type in. Because that's the thing, shit. I... If it's affecting the fish like that, then I know it's gonna affect uh, the coil. It's gotta affect on the human too. Exactly. If people are eating the fish and stuff out of there, birds too and other mammals. They live on the coast. Damn, I didn't even think about the birds. Yeah, I didn't even 
thing about that. At least you don't drink salt water. Man, you better not. That shit not. <laughs> I was trying to siphon my tank one day and did that. Oh, man. Uh. They keep trying to bring up stuff from from 2023, so it, it must been a problem with the Florida, with the Florida Keys water. If they're, you know what I'm saying? If they still talking about stuff from 2023, that means it's been stuff that's going on in the water. Hey, you got always a lot of stuff going on in the Keys. <laughs> That, that's wicked though bro like, that could be detrimental to people's health yeah especially especially if you going down there and you swimming in the water you know you on vacate or you stay yeah hey you know? accidentally swallow a portion of that stuff yeah you. nobody you, knows how it works see i see why they had some in 2023 talking about flesh eating bacteria on florida beaches Mm, nice. So that, come on, bro. It's been some going on with that water down there in Florida. I'm definitely not going down there. I really don't even want no fish from down there now, man. Mm. <laughs> hey. But I know, I know, um, uh, my boy Animal, he was saying he ordered some fish from Imperial Tropicals or something like that. And he said he got some pretty good results. So, you know. Usually know they, when they, they are quarantine, they should they sort out that, the sick ones. Yeah, but I know they breed their own fish too. So they probably, you know, yeah. at, at one point got the fish out of there, but they started breeding them themselves. But. Shit, oh, that's a hard call, man. What they saying in the chat? Oh, man. Shit. Let's see. Shit, they working on the bacteria. Nah, that's wicked, though. You know, I felt uh, scammed when I got Homer. When he developed not the normal blood shares. You saying your, your fish had caught something? Ah, I felt scammed, but it's the rare option on the clown trigger with the blotches in the blotches. Yeah. Yeah, I know them, them clown fish, they be succept, uh, susceptible to getting sick and stuff, though. Ah, the trigger, the triggers. The trigger fish, even the clowns, man. Clowns be getting sick. They catch some type of disease where they they start tripping on you and you don't know what it is. Yeah. And it, it be it be like to a point where they won't even make it through. Ah, there are some diseases that take clownfish out uh, in forty eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And you can bring that stuff in with your snails. See, bro, that, I had that problem with in my quarantine tank. I had a platinum white stormtrooper and a black one. Yeah, yeah I added some snails from the wholesaler. That was <laughs> my clownfish. That's why I'm dead. That's why I'm really like skeptical about what place I get these snails and stuff from online. Yeah. I usually do the trick and uh, sort it out in the fish shop I work. Let them be there for a month and then I pick what I like. It's the bit more expensive way, but hey, it's safe. I definitely don't be want to definitely don't want to get no fish um, or snails from this online place and no 
<laughs> they mess around and bring a bacteria to the tank, man. <laughs> I'll be devastated. But I guess in in this hobby we take risks. Sometimes, yeah. So, sometimes we we take risks, bro. But that's why I guess. But that's we, we why take. usually a reef keeper got a spare tank. Yeah, you quarantine. You I quarantine, put... and when you do at least when you don't quarantine, do a safe stop, just a medicated bath. Yeah. So that's what I do. I just put them in my because I got two reef, um, two reef tanks. So I just put them in there, watch them for about a week or so. And you you don't want to start medicating your reef tank? Nah, I don't. I don't. And that's what a uh, dude was saying earlier. He was like, people kind of they not kind of, but they mess up and medicate their um coral before they ship yeah and, and they say that you know they can really mess it up because that their medication yeah. could still be sitting you in don't bag. dip before ship you dip when you when they arrive exactly so otherwise you got the pollution from the medication all the time in the back and also what's falling off that <laughs> yeah man so that's what he was saying earlier so it, it, it's stuff that be seeming like it's common sense but a lot of people don't do it though yeah there are a few safety precautions that you should take like having the uh, finer mesh net for the saltwater fish with the thin thinnest slime Boom. coats you the man Gamber discus. Mm. That's what it's called. That's happening in the Florida Keys. You the man. And it is an algae. Hey, so the fish try to eat it and then go crazy. Look, I'm sharing it on the screen right now. Hmm. Looks like a floating type. It's a, it's a genius of a marine dino flagellate. Dinos. And, yep. That produces. So, hey man, what's going on in the Florida waters? And these people are from Florida. And they don't even know about this. So uh, they people like, usually don't know until it's too late. <laughs> and they live in Florida. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm I'm in Texas. So, I, you know, and I know about this. So how you don't know about it? And you in Florida. So yeah. these, people, they, these people are going to vacate to these places because it's right down the road for them. And Yeah, hey, it's a nice looking beach. Yeah, and they eating these fish and stuff from me. Man, that's wicked, bro. Mm. And then they wonder why they got sick. Wonder why you got sick, man, and your skin falling off. It's say like you may experience nausea, vomiting, and the neurologic symptoms such as tingling fingers or toes. What the? Isn't that that called Caligula uh, sickness? That's what this is. I probably wasn't saying it right. Lick. but this is c-i-g-u-a-t-e-r-a yeah it's that but he so it's a bad one so it's usually on smaller islands fish and fish poisoning yeah it's an illness caused by eating fish that contains toxin produced by this marine microalgae get the and it's so a common fish, algae. We we all got it in the tanks. <laughs> so the fish is eating this, and then it's making these fish, bro, swim like around in circles. Not like, yeah, when they got too much of it. Yeah, but not like they not swimming like around. 
Basically, no, the UFC is <laughs> turning around on the space yeah. where they are. And yeah. usually the fish get eaten by a uh, predator like sharks. And then, and then you wanna... try to catch the bigger predator like the grouper shark and then eat it. So it's I also wanna... with when, crayfish when they... and crabs in that, er uh, in that region. When they eat that fish, do they get it? Like, do the, does the shark get it? No, uh, the so, shark, cause... when you got too much of a fish, what it got? Yeah. Probably so, because that's why this fish, the shark tooth, uh, I mean, the sawtooth shark is spinning out of control. Yeah. I don't want to subscribe. And usually the biggest predator get all the toxins. It goes up the food chain. See, scientists continue to search for what's poisoning Lord Key's fish. Another dead sawfish is confirmed. The number of sightings of six sawfish in the Lord Keys has increased to 49. With 16 but it's time before. for the fish to get protective and get venomous against humans in terms of evolution. Well, well, it was already on the endangered list, if I'm not mistaken. So now that it's dying from this disease, this toxin, um, gamber discus. Hey, it's getting yeah. worse. Yeah, it, it's getting worse, bro. And when then the big predator missing, then yeah. It's something missing still, that and this was just bring away the garbage. Ago. This was just three weeks ago. So they still yeah. haven't figured out what's going on with it. Yeah, they still haven't figured out what's going on with it. That's something. Let's crazy. hope that the Ricordia Florida makes it. He's also on the endangered list in the wild. The who? Ricordia, Ricordia Florida. It's a disc uh, anemone. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I bet you it's, it's affecting the coral also. Yeah. They are quite some time on the endangered list and not allowed to collect from the wild. But they breed pretty good in, in captivity. See, dude said back in February of last year, he noticed that the pinfish started behaving oddly, like they were playing dead. Mm. And then some of them were spinning. So the fish bro been doing some crazy stuff. Mm. <laughs> One person said at first I was scared, I was scared, and now I'm just curious what the environment is going to turn into if this keeps going if this keeps on progressing i guess when the fish are gone the sponges take over an algae damn this person said i walked about one half mile along the shore during a low tide and witnessed over 30 dead snooks and a lot more acting erratic with swimming conditions i've never seen before God dang, bro. Hey, those are the spots where I talked about I felt scammed out. You got who? Ah, with Homer. It's like back you in the like You got the 70s. spots on the spots. Usually yeah. they don't have the spots on the spots. Just the white spot, a polka dot. Say so back in the 70s and 80s, I used to dial low key. Luki, when it was pretty much still intact, as it's been over a thousand years covered with branch coral. Unfortunately, we don't experience that anymore. Dang, so it ain't no more branching coral over here. So they let you know it, it's it's some bro that's been going on in the waters, but now it, it's starting to to really affect the fish. So that's what it is. What that, that word you were saying? Hey, when one food, uh, food source is gone already, the corals. It says it's a neurotoxin that can cause ciguatoxins, which are one of the 18 type of gamma discus. 
Oh, they saying if it was happening, we would we would expect to see an outbreak. We would expect to see people getting sick from eating fish. There are no reports. Yeah. But usually when the fish acting up, nobody takes the fish and eats it. And when the fish uh, act in the wild strange, they usually don't eat. So hard to catch them. Except you're scooping them up on shore with a net. Bunny, hey, what's up, Bunny? She said, I fell asleep. I could barely hear y'all. You probably forgot to turn your ears up when you woke up. Nah, I'm messing with you. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see, can we turn you up? What about now? What about now? Better? The Viper. What about now? Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, we were just really out here talking about um what was going on in the Florida Keys water right now. That gamber discus. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But it's crazy, man, how that, that stuff affecting those fish. But definitely had me rethinking if I wanted to order anything from a, a store. From the Keys? Had, yeah, from the Florida Keys. Cause, I don't know. But people are throwing out some pretty nice selections. So let me see what else they got, man. What else I can come across. But... I definitely need to get some for this uh, hair algae. Yeah, sure. I've been out here for. Hey, bite. you could get some Hawaiian sea urchins. Some urchins, yeah. I was looking at some uh, pin cushion urchins. And when you pick a species that doesn't live in the Florida Keys, you should be good. Yeah. I'm definitely not trying to get nothing out of there. Because <laughs> <laughs> they look like they've been having problems at least for at least two years or so. So if you didn't got anything out of the Florida Keys in the past two years, it could possibly have something wrong with it, you know? Yeah. It's just but when you had it two years, it's probably halfway good. Yeah. Unless, you know, you got it out of there and then you, you know, you start breeding yourself. Yeah. But I don't know too many people are able to successfully breed salt water. No. It's not too many. I had some success with my previous clone pair. Do the snails breed pretty easily in the salt water? It depends on snail. Usually the smaller pestia snails are pretty easy. That's wicked, man. That's one thing I like about fish, though. You could just buy them. You know, that one time, if you get a good breeding pair, then they'll keep breeding. Yeah. You don't have to, you don't have to keep buying, keep buying, you know. Hey, it was nice with the clown pair was, was I had 10 bucks uh, for a baby when I mm -hmm. sold it to the live fish shop I work at. Okay. That's cool. Yeah.
Let me know if you could. That was uh, before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, I have three saltfish from when I was a taxidermist. Okay, okay. Yeah, them mugs look like there's something going on with them. They've been they've been beaching themselves and doing crap, you know, weird stuff in the water. Man, I hope they figure it out, though. Craig said, what's up? Yeah, it's definitely unfortunate, though. Definitely unfortunate. That's why hopefully I'll get these uh I get these fish to chill out, man, from, from quit fighting and <laughs> I can add some females in there. But that's what I probably need to do is just add a little more fish. Cause it's already like six six cichlids, uh two catfish, a bison, and a rubber lip pleco. So I'll probably add probably at least by three or four more cichlids, they'll be good. That's a big one. You be going live on your channel, man? So I'll be back. Huh? Yeah, I let I was outside letting the dog in. Oh, okay, okay. I say you be going live on your channel? No. Not soon. Nah. Now and then when I'm in the mood. Fish. Yeah, I hope that when I buy a baby one, that it turns out to be like with the usual salt butter fish that they start as a female or as a male, and then yeah. gender change. Shift the dynamic. That is what I think would be the only way to get for my angel and for home a mate. What you talking about, Adele? Shift the dynamic. What you what you mean? So I'm put on some coffee music or something. What you want me to? Do? He said, homie, get your butt out the way. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, she's saying, I guess, like, switch the, the view of the fish or something. He said, Bill gave our street the uh, earful. Go check the mailbox, they say. 11 grams. <laughs> <laughs> that weed tastes like leaf. <laughs> uh, he gave you that backyard boogie, man. The Reggie Bush. Yeah, you gotta go check that, man. They said, uh, decarve it and, and put it in the edible crate. <laughs> nah, for sure. So, you might know a little something. You talking about D card? Let me find out. You know a little something. Pulls a out of medical nugget and said, Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> Uh, man, Wu 
Wusa, Craig Wusa. <laughs> I said more fat sheep was less target aggression. Yeah, for sure. I chucked it out the back. Oh man, he threw it out, dog. It must be some bull. Oh shit. And Craig don't be going for none of that. Yes, man, I see that now. I'm about to have Craig as my manager. Because he do not be going for none of that. Hey, dude, you don't have to, like, trim them fish beaks. Like, they don't have any beaks. Uh, I trim them with frozen shrimp and frozen clams. Okay, you just drop the frozen cube off in there. Yeah, I use from the daily the frozen clams what they got on the the hard the hard hard clams I think you call them in the US. Yeah. The hard shaped ones, the small uh -huh. ones. I use them for feeding my triggers to trim the uh the tooths. Okay, also okay. for my uh puffer fish but I got another venomous tank. Yeah, I was seeing one clip people were saying they had to put their fish to sleep to tr trim the beat. Yeah, we had to do it at the fish shop twice for a customer. But it was a big fresh water puffer. And y'all had to put them to sleep, like, like anesthesia? Yeah, we got uh, some drops to mix it with in the water. You have to dose it right and be quick. And then put them in uh, oxygenated water without medication. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. It's a oh, hassle yeah. to do. Rather feed snails and stuff. Yeah, I didn't have to do that. Well, yeah. do people do people only have to like put them to sleep after they let it get so bad or is there something you can prevent you can correct it with some tweezers but it's risky to put them in the knuckles yeah, craig craig a trip bro he said this dog and you, is bad and usually you don't find here in europe a vet that do fish so it's more do it, do it yourself or yeah. You got to pay a lot of money. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we the last customer I think paid one hundred fifty bucks for having the beak done. Oh, nah. That's why. I but said it I was a big freshwater puffer. So, yeah, I I'd what? rather do preventive maintenance. So I won't have to go in and pay the extra. Greg talking about his dog just blowing his breath in his face. He said, Craig, try milk bones. Give him one or two big ones after he eats. It helps. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh they also make some eucalyptus juice for the dogs helps too with the with the breath buddy so i hear rather what i'd rather sniff prime than smell it no way <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, bro. ain't no way what are milk bones they for dogs. Yeah. Little bone, little treats you give to a dog. So no, he Homer his, showing he off his heart. Uh, yeah, Homer ain't playing, bro. He, he all in the camera. Yeah, he's a camera pick. Stop he also constantly camera. begs for food, so... Typical for a, a trigger. 
it smells bad. Yeah. Where your dog getting hair from, bro, bro? Nah, it Homer definitely is a camera hog, bro. Yeah, hey. <laughs> He's the only fish in the tank with a name. Amazing tank, hey quiet. Yeah, man, it, it, he do got a nice tank, bro. Oh, when he bites himself, yeah. It helps clean his teeth so they don't rot or helps them not smell. Greenies help too. Greenies first, then milk bones in that order. Huge difference in our <laughs> six dogs with clean teeth and breath. Okay. Man, I might have to remember that for my dog, bro. My dog breath be kicking sip. His hair is like small spikes. He getting everything. Yeah, I imagine, bro. He be shedding a lot. I know your dog weigh every bit of shit, 110 pounds. That's a big dog. What should I say? My Kadekos are dwarfs, my Pitbull Stafford mix. <laughs> Homer the camera hoe. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but he developed some nice hearts on the sides. Yeah, I see it's like a little pink or red on the tail or something. Heck yeah. Uh, it's a pinkish red. Yeah, it might go. Look at him. I'm going cool, though. But yeah, bro. I, I definitely been on here for a while. Life. Yeah, I hope up for now. Have a nice yeah. day or night. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's five in the morning for me, man. Appreciate Thanks. You <laughs> Appreciate you for coming up, bro. See ya. Oh, all right, my man. But yeah, definitely, dog. It's been a nice one. He said, "I want my dinner." <laughs> it is breakfast time for me. But uh, definitely, um, uh, had a good one with you guys, man. We've been here. We've been rolling for a while, five hours. We didn't took a long trip. So milk bones are a hard, crunchy bone-shaped treats. They smell like cat. <laughs> Don't smell anything, but dogs love them and great for their teeth. You can order them from Chewy if you can't find them low. 20 minutes to be finished. Peace. All uh, ready, homie. Appreciate you for riding with me in the front seat, man. But yeah, like I said, I definitely appreciate everybody for coming in the night, in the morning, the daytime, wherever you ain't watching. We had a good one. As always, be great. Be you. Be positive. Clear out. Cool, look, party, we reefing. reefing. Fish in my crib, I got fresh, I got salt water. Salt water. on the rocks, I got all colors. All colors. I made a orange way out of all rubbers. All rubbers. Protein skim will make all bubbles. Okay. Got fish for sale, I'm finna place the order. If it's rare enough, I'll cross the border. Cross. Perimeter checks, it's levels to this. Levels. Macro lens, yeah. you see in the pattern. Snail shells, Museum of the Vatican. I'm coaching this game, Gary Patterson. Join the Discord, verified, I let you in. I like my lives like ESPN. Just lost some burnets, it called STN. It's part of the game when you destined to win. You see me online, I got questions. Check in.